Hello, everybody. Welcome to Game Nerds Live. Game Nerds Live. Welcome. <laughs> welcome to another exciting week of Game Nerds Live. My name is Spencer, everybody. My name is Spencer. I am the marketing manager here at Game Nerds. I do a lot of things regarding marketing, such as um, managing it and he yells at us doing things <laughs> like emails if you get an email lots of times those come from me sometimes i get some help so i'm thankful for that uh, but anyway uh, my name is spencer and i'm happy to have the full team here today including yeah. this guy over here yeah and i'm joey i also work here on the marketing team oh, yeah. i do a lot of the editing and the stuff and stuff and some photography and some things like that yeah and uh some graphics and that's what i do around here yeah i'm He's yeah, yeah. Do a that good job. Well. Thank yeah. You. He also uh, fixes his hair a lot. I fix my well. hair a lot because you know yeah. you never know. Well, when you have, I just don't realize that I'm very close to your uh, side of the color spectrum. Whoa! Or if I go like Spencer, this, it's like, you don't oh. have your best plain black tee to You're wear. Right. I do like my little sweater though. Yeah, but I do like your style. Thank today. you. Uh, John Tripp says that I'm dapper. Very dapper. So it's a little chilly in here. It's, we had a cold front come through. Yeah, uh, a, a lot chilly. of rain. So that's it's very abnormal to wake up on a day in April and it'd be 50 degrees outside. We had a leak. Dallas, Texas. It was yeah. scary. Our, our window was leaking right over there. But we also have more people here. Yeah. Um, it, when, we, when we say we, we mean yeah. us, us and this guy over here. Hi. That's Parker. <coughs> hey. I'm Parker. <laughs> hey, Parker. How's it going? It's going yeah. well. I mean, so far, right? Yeah. How'd you handle that leak the other day? What'd you do? Uh, well, Joey pointed it out and I yeah. was like, what? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I ran over and looked at it naturally. Um, that stopped what I was doing and wanted to see this anomaly. And, uh -huh. uh, you know, we called maintenance and we got it taken care of. So, yeah. you know, as long as it doesn't ever rain ever again, we should be fine. Okay. But we'll have to, we'll see about that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, you know, we also have Rosa in the house. It's like a. It's, I feel like I'm introducing Papa Jump. Rosa in the house. Rosa in the house. Uh, here she is, right here. Hi, Rosa. Hi. Welcome. Glad to have you here. Thanks. And guys. I think somewhere around here, there's there's a fifth person. Is there a fifth? Yeah. Hello? Is there a person? Is there another person here? Hello? Sure, yeah. Or you can come Hello? over here. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Hi, oh. Hi, Hi Laura. There she is. Welcome. She's right here. <laughs> Laura. That's the girls, they like... They stuck baby in the corner over here, the two of us. Well, let's get you a bigger <laughs> corner. True. How about that? True. <laughs> I like the sound of that. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. Ro Loza, Ro Rosa Lara Cam. Loza or Rara. Rosa, How is Loza, Rara. <laughs> How is everybody doing in the chat? My Blue Heather says she loved the Eclipse video. That was such a fun video to make. We were all. It was really fun to hang out with all the warehouse team yeah. and to see science in action. Yeah, mm -hmm. from yeah. the perspective of a June bug. Of the, yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> it was fun and it was fun to edit. <laughs> Real quick, I want to uh, uh, point out Tobacco Man's comment. Speaking of T-shirts, when will we get them nerd shirts? I am happy to say that there is official movement on this subject. Movement. It's moving. Um, the we wheel have is had a, a discussion of things to do to get to the next step of that. So yeah. there is movement. We have a plan of sorts that is going to be enacted soon. We've made the biggest stride into mm -hmm. making these happen than we have this entire time. We so just want to do it right. We want to do it good and we want to do it right and we want y'all to have some soft style tees yeah. to feel good in. Yeah, nobody wants you to have these t-shirts more than we do. Right. Except for maybe you. Yes. You might want them maybe, more than maybe we want, they want them more. Maybe. They're gonna yeah. sell like hotcakes. Yeah. Um, thank you, Ryan, for the uh, compliment on my sweater game. I love cardigans. They're so comfortable, and especially this one is just so comfy. Um, Parker was doing his best mime routine. Yeah, yeah I don't know what uh, he was saying. <clears throat> your mic, can you point it uh, a little bit more in front of you? I'm picking up like a little bit of room echo. Yeah. Oop. Oh. Oops. There we go. Is that better? Yeah, that sounds better. Better? I got to get my yeah. distance like that? Yes, Good. that sounds great. Thank All you. right, cool. Yes, um, Jack Fleming, thank you so much for joining us, for choosing us. Um, we, 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 what, is, how, what do they say at the, on the airplane? Like, we know you have a choice when it comes to viewing live streams based on board games and tabletop gamings. And so for choosing us, we thank you. Thank you very much. I don't know what that is, but close enough. <laughs> thank you for choosing Game Nerds. <clears throat> um, Lady Ding. Owl, though, I must thank you for choosing to support your kid and their, your kids and their school presentation. That's important but you still are here. So thank you for doing both. 
<laughs> Welcome everybody else. Welcome Andy Brady. I heard you are giving away those T-shirts on today's stream. No, when that's they not exist, right. When they maybe we'll give one away. No, maybe. Yeah, absolutely. Did any of you watch WrestleMania? Um, I did. I watched a lot of stuff over WrestleMania weekend, including some GCW stuff, Bloodsport, uh, the ROH pay per view. There was a lot to watch on things. WrestleMania weekend. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, I love wrestling. Um, one vote, another vote for a uh, nine minus equals t-shirt that's that's gonna be one for and, sure and hey if you throughout the stream today or anytime feel like you have an idea for a great t-shirt throw it in the chat yeah we can go back through and see them or if it comes to you tomorrow or even after the stream today because like, we oh, do have a place where people can send in fan do. stuff right yes marketing at game nerds.com it's an email that we have that you can send all your stuff your sh your shelfies your Selfies, your game nights, everything, anything, your fan art, fan art, t-shirt ideas, anything, pictures of the eclipse, which some of you did send in some pictures. You did, of the eclipse. and we'll have some of those to look at later. Yep. And speaking of, hey, well, before we even give an overview of what the show is, okay, let's take a look at what the deal of the day is today. Yeah, what is it? Love that deal of the day. Arkham Horror LCG, the Dunwich Legacy Investigator expansion. Now wow. look at that. Look at that. That is twenty five ninety seven regularly forty four ninety nine, only no. forty nine in stock. We know that around here that number is actually pretty small. Yeah, that, those so will be pretty much gone by that's uh, a, less than an hour. Probably. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> any any Arkham Horror LCG players here? It's great. I've played it before. It's pretty fun. I I don't you I don't keep up with the LCG format of games. So I love I play the Arkham Horror third edition board game. Love that. But the card game's great. So if you want to endorsement of at least how good and fun it is that's one for me it was not yet played said it was at 80 a few minutes ago wow. and speaking of counting numbers we're going to do a giveaway at the end of the stream right now it's a 25 dollars gift card but right but we do have one at the end of the stream you know what i mean is what until something happens right. at the end of the stream it's only a 25 dollars gift card it's only it's a goal that's right another goal this week mm -hmm. we're doing it we're, doing we're gonna it. have a hundred goal Hundred gold, and I know y'all can do it. Easy. So what that means is, if on YouTube we reach one hundred likes of the stream itself, you can go up on YouTube, click like. If we reach a hundred of those by the end of the stream, we'll be giving away a fifty dollar gift card instead of the twenty five. Instead of the twenty five. Yeah, fifty dollars at the end of the stream. So you need to be around for the end of the stream to get it, but also to make sure that we get those hundred likes. How many likes do we have right now? Where give, are we someone at give right me now? a report. Of because um, Joey loves to push the envelope on what our goal is. How much? I do. 32. 32 likes. All right. 38. No. Oh, look right. at that right. already. So we're on our way, and I think we'll get there pretty quick. Would you quick. look at that? I believe. Yeah. I believe in all of you. Mm -hmm. I believe in you. Um, John Tripp has to leave early for a dentist appointment. Well, uh -oh. John. Too many sour uh, candies. Wait. Yeah. John, it's not even It's not even 2.30 yet. Oh. <laughs> nice. That's great. Good one. That's nice. great. Um, I, I loved it. So we're going to put all the best content and giveaways right up front, but also right at back, because all of the stream is the best this stream content is and giveaways. With good stuff this week. Right. So um, what are we doing? What are we doing? today awesome we're gonna be trying something but we're gonna do it a little different uh instead of trying something that spencer's never had mm -hmm. we're gonna try something that i've never had and i've never had poutine mm -hmm. so we're gonna try that we're gonna have that on the stream here today what a funny word poutine poutine mm -hmm. poutine poutine delicious yes. what does it translate to like Probably like potatoes and cheese and cheese curds. Titers and cheese? That's what it, that's the official translation? Yeah. And yeah. gravy. Titers, cheese, and gravy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. just easier mm -hmm. to say poutine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. John Tripp is leaving <laughs> at 2.30. Oh, okay. 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 Oh, nice. <laughs> um, and then we are going to be uh, covering the best sellers of March 2024. Mm -hmm. um, this is going to be uh, Spencer and Laura are going to bring that to you today. Yes. yes. We have some fun. great stats to bring you as far as what... You Im what impact you've been having on the sales of game nerds. Mm -hmm. Yep. Then, well, yeah. So then after that, Joey has been looking forward to this Finally. game for a very long time. Finally. This is Monster Hunter World, the board game. Yes. So he's going to be unboxing that, Ooh. seeing what's inside. Yes. We're going to see if he can contain his excitement. I'm so excited. I'm ready not. to rip it open right he's now. He's going to unbox his ex excitement as yeah. well. This is my personal copy mm -hmm. that I'm opening. I'm excited. Yeah. I've been dying to open this. Mm -hmm. You all know that I talk about it all the time. And here we go. And then after that, you ready? Oh, yeah. You ready? Let's hear it. 
April Insanity continues. Yes, we're in the lead. Yes, yeah. We're, we have a chance to get a commanding lead today. So for those that, have not, that were not here last week, we announced April Insanity, which is mm-hmm. our take on March Madness. Much better, in my opinion, than March Madness. Yeah, way better than March Madness, yeah, easily. Definitely. So we have a bracket mm-hmm. of all of us playing games, and we're going to see who the champion is going to win yeah. and, 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 and get this. If you missed last week, mm-hmm. it's a round-robin tournament. Mm-hmm. Each, everybody's going to play each other. Uh, it's going to be me, Spencer, Parker, Rosa, and Laura. Mm-hmm. If you win, you get two points. If you lose, you get no points. If you draw, you get, each get one point. So well, this is going to happen over a few weeks, mm-hmm. and whoever has the most points at the end wins. And yeah. if there needs to be a tiebreaker, there needs to be a tiebreaker. Last week, Spencer and I both won our games, so we both have two points each. Mm-hmm. And today, Laura and Spencer going, are going to go head-to-head in their match, mm-hmm. and Parker and I are going to go head-to-head in our match. Um, and here's what's cool. Uh, <laughs> Brett wants to be the winner. I'm sorry, Brett. <laughs> you cannot win. But you can win by cheering on your favorite personality. So check this out. I found a Team cool uh, printing file for my 3D printer. And then also found an awesome painter, Yeah. Rosa. Yes, <laughs> Rosa. So here's our trophy. You ready for this? Wow. Look at this trophy. Look Isn't at it. Isn't that awesome? It's cute. I mean, I, I think it's cool. Can I take a closer look at that? Sure. Hey, Rosa, uh, I think you should just go ahead and paint my name onto oh, it. Right. Yeah. No. I think so. I'll that right now. <laughs> <laughs> Cute no. little trophy. I'm going to be like great. this. You can, I'm going to be like this. You, you, can, you can drink from it. You can take your little um, stress ball Nido and put it right yep. there. Actually, I like, the, I like that yeah. look. The blue and pink pop. Yeah. So... <laughs> I'm excited to put this on my desk for eternity hmm. because that's what's going to happen. <laughs> yeah. um, let's address some more confusion. Um, my Boo Heather says, Laura versus Spencer, who the heck will I root for? She already answered her question, Laura. I mean, that's fine. Oh, okay. That's yes. fine. That's fair. That's fair. Um, Tobacco Man is confused. Wait, so you're saying I can't be a winner either? Well, what do you consider being a winner? Yeah, like if you root for the winner, then you're the winner. Let's see a hashtag team whoever you're backing. Hashtag team Joey. I hope to see a lot of those because I am going to be the winner. Hashtag team Spencer is probably the most accurate one. Oh, these guys have never heard of a comeback story. Oh my god, <laughs> who said that? I, uh, who said that? I who, said that. Who was that? These guys. Uh, see, you see, this is called being humble. Mm-hmm. It's fine. So we'll, let, we'll what, let them talk each other up. Endlessly, no. Uh, but uh, you know, sometimes you got to take one loss to get the just to get the the ball rolling, mm-hmm. just to kind of show them. Oh, you ever heard of like a pool shark or anything? No. <laughs> just like, oh wow. So you got to get the ball in that hole. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> we'll see you today. I wore my best black tee today. Mm. To oh, go against oh, what? Okay. Yeah. I, I'm a little mm. scared. I'm a little scared we'll now. See. The power of the black tee is strong. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm telling th- you. Get some black tees in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> the game nurse wants to know if those are my 3D printed figures at the pickup window at the main office in Richardson. <laughs> those are not mine, uh, but those we do, cute, we do have them. a few 3D printer fans uh, on the staff over there, and so they're always printing out. I believe those mm-hmm. might be Drews. Maybe those are Drew printed those. I'm not sure, <laughs> um, but um, I need to get more use out of my printer, so this was one of them. So you should have saw the first iteration. Oh, it was bad. It was a nightmare. <laughs> Spencer broke it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he only slammed As it on usual. the floor. He just threw it on the yeah, ground. I just <laughs> threw it on the ground. That's how you got to get it. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, yeah, you gave the full run through. That's yeah. the that run through. That's, that's what we got. That's what we got. Packed. Awesome. Pretty packed. So let's give away this $25 get c- gift card. What do you think? Oh, we have a $25 gift we card do. giveaway? Well, yeah, let's get right. started with a giveaway right now. Okay. Um, what are we going to give away? A $25 $25 gift card. $25 gift card, yeah. So it's open to U.S. residents and Mm -hmm. no purchase necessary. Yeah, right now. We're going to do it right now, even though Geeks is not here with us. Geeks? Uh, Yeah, Yeah, Geeks isn't isn't here to (gasps) counter it. (laughs) How dare. (laughs) So uh, we're going to give this away right... Well, I mean, we're going to start it. We're going to start it. Yeah, you know how it goes. It's ready. Ready when y'all are. You're ready? All right, so enter the giveaway. Here it goes. Enter exclamation flan fam. F L A N F A M, because you are the Flan Fam. So it's really exclamation you if you think about it. And that's not it. But that's not it. It's that's exclamation not how you Flan enter. Fam. And uh, one of my favorite things to do, <laughs> <laughs> exclamation <laughs> geeks. geeks. It should have been that. I love seeing these entries come through. Remember exclamation Flan Fam. I know there are more than eight entries. There we go. All right. I love seeing how everybody, this yeah. community is really growing and everybody's starting to get to know each other and everything. And you know what? If you're new, welcome to the show. Welcome. Teddy Styles. To our, uh, yeah. Welcome to our, our, our stream. Welcome to uh, 
uh, this community. We're happy mm-hmm. to have you here. Definitely. Mm-hmm. And you, too, I, can be part of the Flan fam. Yes. If, if we haven't ever, like, called out your name or anything, uh, we'll get there. there I think we got a couple of resubs, by the way, mm-hmm. while we were uh, getting started and everything. So if you resub, thank you. I don't have the list here handy. Uh, Haplo, mm-hmm. for sure. And Haplo, imagine resub, thank you so the, much. Yeah. Trendy Fox says, long-time listener, first-time caller. Hello. Welcome. Trendy Fox. Whoa, Trendy welcome. Fox, welcome, welcome, mm-hmm. welcome. Teddy Styles. I wonder what kind of styles. Styles with yeah. a Z. Did yeah. Imagine, oh, imagine Eric had the resub as well, right? Because mm-hmm. his name is there. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay, yeah, so yeah. thank you, Imagine Eric, for the resub as well. Yeah. Very, very thoughtful. Yeah. And you've probably seen some of the emotes that you get, right? You get, yeah. You get, yeah, you all are spamming the emotes. that You do get those emotes with... Uh, with your sub and becoming a member over on YouTube. We have a way for you to get emotes on both channels. Uh, you can go to, you, um, what is it? Nerds.me slash YT fan. Mm-hmm. Is that it for yep. the for, for YouTube? Oh, we got another resub. Let's go. Two thank months in you, a row. Thank you, Brandon. Brandon, son, thank you very thank much. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Uh, it's 99 cents over at YouTube. The more you sub, the more emotes and stuff you unlock. Over at Twitch, it's four ninety nine, and uh, you get a ton more subs. They mm. just let us have more subs. But the same thing applies. The more you sub, uh, the more people that sub, the more um, emotes and stuff we get to unlock, yeah. including animated emotes. But if you have Amazon Prime, you get a free Twitch sub with your Prime membership. You do. So you can come over here, and you, you can do. use that on us, and it's completely free, and you get all those emotes and everything for free. Trendy Fox just subscribed. Well, thank, thank you, Trendy Fox. Trendy Fox. Thank Fox. you so much for the Amazing. sub over on Twitch. Thank you very much. You guys much. are awesome. Y'all are amazing. Y'all are thank awesome. you for the support because mm. it supports us directly here, yeah. and that helps us actually keep going and keep this department going and everything. It really actually does. So thank you so much for your support. It helps me fill my Bigfoot water bottle. <laughs> <laughs> you mean your Rondell Yeah, it's Rondell. Rondell. Yeah, that's Rondell. Yeah, that's, that's Rondell. Everybody <laughs> knows. <laughs> everybody, know, everybody knows Bigfoot doesn't exist, oh, but Geeks Rondell does. Geeks, Geeks made is it. here. Oh, Uh-oh. Geeks made Geeks it. Geeks is here. You're just late. We were time. just talking about oh, you. We should have ran, give- we ran the yes. giveaway before yeah. he showed up. We mm-hmm. ah, would have not made him so upset. 15. 15. Whoa, let's 15 go. subs. Thanks let's for the go. real Thank time you. update. Awesome. And a hype and a train. Hype train. We've got hype a hype train, train right now. Hype, hype train. Chug a chug a chug a chug a. Let's go. Hype train. And if you get a hype train, you get spe- like special, like randomized emotes from Twitch mm-hmm. that you can use anywhere. That's pretty cool. <laughs> and thank you, Inkwell, for the follow. Welcome Thank you, Inkwell. to this community. We're happy to have mm-hmm. you. Welcome. Yes. Good Fantastic. times. Yes. Absolutely. All right. So when are we going to draw this winner? Do we usually do that after the news? Do we uh, usually do this? Do you want to do it now? Yeah, we can We can let it. We can let people enjoy. enjoy yeah, people are still okay. showing up. Yeah. slow yeah. roll okay. in. That's, that's, that's yeah. good. That's yeah. good. Yeah. Let's get through um, the news, and then we'll run it before we eat. All right. So news this week. Mm-hmm. Top story. This is definitely a top story for me because we've been asking for this um, forever. I've been, I've, I've been so asking for it. We've heard been game, asking for it. Have you ever heard of a game called Marvel United? I have heard of Marvel United. Marvel United. Oh, we got some cheers. I'm oh. sorry for interrupting yeah, I was like, you. What I apologize. I didn't but know what that sounded. Somebody's spending their hard-earned money on the stream. That's amazing. Thank you for the cheer. That I didn't know awesome. what that sound was. And, uh, I was like, what? I just heard that's, like a spaceship that's different. sound. I didn't, I'm I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I'll have to fix that later, but I apologize. But thank you so much for the cheers. That's awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. That is awesome. Thank you so much. Um, so back to the <laughs> top story of the day. Uh, Marvel United has been a very popular game from Kaman, and I remember when Marvel United first came out, I was like, "Where's DC Crickets. United? Where is <laughs> where is DC United? Because where I mean, is it? Marvel my, my Marvel movies are fine, but I've always been a DC guy. I love DC. Um, well, I love they them. finally got back to me after about five years. They said, "Oh, Spencer, here it is. What is here it? is DC Heroes United." So this was your idea. This was my idea. Yep. So we're finally, I feel like, starting to see a little bit of a trickle of good quality DC games. So this is DC United, and basically it's Marvel United, but with DC characters. I love this trailer. But in this game, up to five players, so you can play up to five, will control... First of all, like just the first teaser, we're going to see that Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman are going to be playable characters. But as with most, come on... Uh, Kickstarter or now GameFound goals, there are always going to be more and more characters that you can unlock through stretch goals. Sweet. So you're going to try to take down Joker and his uh, his henchmen. Now, if you're not familiar with Marvel United, it really is more of a lighter rules-based tabletop game. So it's more of a family style. Game. And you can kind of tell that based on the art. Look at him. It's the Joker. There he is. <laughs> but, of course, I'm sure a lot of the mechanics from, the other, from Marvel United will transfer over to... DC Heroes United, so you can count on you know that still that lighter 
rule set, more of a family, <laughs> just a fun cooperative style game. And so this is going to be about 30 minutes per game session. And it has some amazing artwork, highly detailed miniatures, as you saw there, of your favorite characters. And cool. this is going to be probably, according to, come on, going to be launched uh, around June-ish or July. No, June well, or July. Well, they plan their game found for uh, July. So Yeah. Well, that's what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So um, look for it then. And we are also going to be looking for it because, you know, it's probably something that we're going to back. Yeah. I know we've backed Marvel United before. We sure so have. I'm going to do everything but <laughs> yeah. quit to make sure that we back this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, um, He's going to kick and scream. I mean, I of course, you have the main characters, but what are some more obscure characters that you'd love to see? Let me get a Booster Gold in there. Booster Let Gold. Let me get that yeah. going. Or, I want or the, Dead, Dead Man. I'm a huge Dead Man fan. Dead Man would be cool. I would love to see the Booster, the Blue and Gold team up characters of Ted Cord, Blue Beetle, mm. and, and Booster Gold. That'd be awesome. Um, yeah, I mean, Constantine would be a good character. Oh, John Constantine's awesome. Polka Dot that. Man. Yeah. Swamp mm -hmm. Thing. Kite Man. Kite Man. Static Shock. Dr. Fate would be good. So It would be cool to have like sets of the different teams, right? You've mm -hmm. got your Justice Society team, your Justice League team, your team, Teen Titans team. Your Big fan of Titans. The Bat Family team would be cool. Would, would, a Clayface. 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 You man. remind me of Clayface from am, the Harley Quinn TV show. I am Clayface. You do the singing thing sometimes. <laughs> I am I a am classically trained Vince. actor. Yeah, it's so funny. <laughs> uh, it's great. Yeah. <clears throat> yes. But yeah, so yeah, so keep keep uh, we'll keep you updated on that mm -hmm. uh, and when we uh, you know, look for that kicks that game found in July. Mm -hmm. All right, what we got next. Uh, next, we've got some capstone game news. So, uh, a new pathway for German publisher Spielworks is is going to bring uh, capstone games to the US. Right? Yeah. 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 So, uh, these two companies have come to an agreement that allows all of Spiel Spielworks' heavy Euro-style catalog of games to be distributed using their connections to in America. So uh, that's going to be really cool because yeah. we're going to see some games that we haven't even seen here before. Yeah, there are a lot of heavier games, German, European-style games that just don't ever make it over here because there's no one, you know, in this in the in the states to mm -hmm. to bring it over. And they're starting off with three games. What do we got? They're bringing us Raz uh, Raising Chicago. Mm -hmm. Epos, uh, Hente's game, and Dolcissima Vita. Wow. Dolcissima. That's nice. Did you practice that pronunciation? I didn't. I just did that right off the top of my head. Dolcissima. Oh, Dolcissima. There you go. Dolcissima. That's how it's spelled. And then Vita is like, you know, Vita. Life. Or everybody knows It's not Vita. Vita? Like vitamin? Vita? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. Spencer, do you have a favorite... Uh, Spielworks game? I don't know. Is there it, ones that you were like, oh, I wish it was in America? No. No? Well, <laughs> mm -hmm. Not we're yet. We're going to be exposed to something <laughs> Not yet. new then. I'm, I'm no, I, I mean, I should have said Dolcissima Vida. Yeah. That's, well, that's the one that I'm looking for. I'm excited <laughs> to check these out because this is yeah. like a whole new thing. Mm -hmm. um, it seems like there's enough demand for this to happen, so yeah. I'm excited to see it. Well, and Capstone always does a great job of bringing those titles over, localizing them here. I mean, Arc Nova is right. a perfect example of yeah. that. So. Yeah, they're going to do a great job with that. Yee. Okay, uh, coming up next on our news here is, this is cool. I like this, this is news. Really cool. This is cool. So I there's really something cool. called, maybe you've heard of it before, uh, the American Tabletop Awards. This is a relatively new um, awards board. Um, they saw that, hey, the Spiel des Jahres over there in Germany, they've got, mm -hmm. they got it going on. We want something over here in America. There and should so be. There we've got the American Tabletop and Awards. And now there is. There is, and so the 2024 winners have been announced, and we want to go over those with you. Yeah. Um, there are four different categories here, and this is the, like I said, the U.S. equivalent of the spiel, and it's only a six-year-old committee driven by various people in the industry. A lot of, I've seen a lot of them are in, like, the media side of things, so they play a lot of games already to be able to review them, and they take that experience and apply them here. Do they have the same amount of categories? Uh They've got one extra. Oh, okay. Yeah. Ooh, okay, even the, better. Yeah. Um, so the Spiel has three, and then this one has four. So those are early gamers, <laughs> casual gamers, a committee of only <laughs> six-year-olds. Six year <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I try not to distract you, but go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm sorry. And six years, the committee 
is six <laughs> years old. Monopoly. Uh, <laughs> they know all about board games. Candyland. Uh, Love it. That's fun. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, Go it ahead. could be. Yeah, it could, it could be a six, six years old. <laughs> six year olds could be fun. They're brutally honest. Uh, so, yeah. You know. Uh, <laughs> so the the categories are early gamers, casual gamers, strategy games, and complex games. So let's go through each one of those and see who the winners are. For the early gamers category, we've got the runners up were Chicken, which you've seen here. It's a we little have seen Chicken. And Deep Dive. Those were the runners up, but the winner was Blob Party. Blob Party. That sounds fun. Did you just call me Blob? What do you know about Blob Party? Are you familiar with this? Yeah, well, it's like a collaborative game where you were working together, and the better you do, the bigger your blob gets. Mm -hmm. Looks kind of fun. That sounds and fun. And so, hey, guess what? We sell that in Game Nerds, and you can check it out at nerds.me slash blob. That's awesome. Yeah, so that's Blob Party by WizKids. The winner of the casual games category, I don't know if you've heard about this one, Sea Salt and Paper. Ever heard of it? <laughs> Ever heard of it? I missed it. Ever heard of it? Uh, <laughs> so uh, this beat out the past Spiel des Jahres winner, um, Dwarf Romantic, and also a game called Next Station Tokyo. So nice. stiff competition there. Congratulations yeah. to the um, original printer of Sea Salt and Paper, which was then, of course, brought over here <coughs> by Pandasaurus. And if you ever want to know how to play Sea Salt and Paper, guess what? We've got a video for that. We sure do. On our YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. Dude, John Tripp beat you to it. Did he really? He did. Ever watched a how to play video about <laughs> it? <laughs> John Tripp's got my back. Thank John you. John Tripp's a, a longtime viewer. He knows if Sea Salt gets he mentioned, right. so is the how to play That's video. Right. Uh, That's the amazing. next category was the strategy games category. Uh, the runners up were Daybreak by Matt Leacock and Mateo Menapace, and The Fox Experiment, Elizabeth Hargrave, designed by Elizabeth Hargrave, which again, have you ever heard of that game before? Yeah, right. if not, we've, we've got, got a video, video on about that it. too. <laughs> yeah. uh, but the winner in the strategy games category was Thunder Road wow. by Restoration Games. Congratulations to Restoration Thunder Games. Thunder Road, that's huge. For strategy games, right? Wow. Yeah, strategy. for strategy. That's, yeah, that's a that's heavy awesome. hitting category. We that's still, heavy hitting. That's still one that, that Parker bought on uh, Nerds Day. Yeah, got a just, great deal. It's just chilling. Haven't yeah, played we haven't it, so the play it yet. we should play that on the we stream should. one time. Oh, That'd it be looks, fun. Yeah, I know it gets, obviously it's a great mm -hmm. game. It's an yeah. award winning game, it's you can say now. This is the award winning live stream. Maybe we should do some awards. We should have the Nerdies or something. The Nerdies, yes please. Um, okay, the last one is the complex games category, and the runners up were Nucleum and Earth, which I'm like, yeah, if those didn't win, <laughs> right, what could beat either of those? Because Nucleum's <laughs> great, Earth is great, people love those games. Well, I'll tell you who won: The White Castle. Awesome, dude! I wow. love their girls. by Devere, and that's not the last you're gonna hear of White Castle. Not today. I'm just gonna throw this out there: if you've ever wanted to. If you've ever wanted to hold it in your hands, you might have an opportunity to do that. You might. Later. Today? 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 I don't oh. know about today, but at some point mm. in your life. I don't know. I'm yeah. just saying. Maybe, Maybe you get 100 likes on Twitch. Oh, wait, you can't do that. No, you can't do that. But uh, The White Castle won. I Fantastic love The White Castle. Game. Great love game. That. You can get that at nerds.me slash White Castle. And if you are interested in Thunder Road Vendetta, nerds.me slash Vendetta. And if you're interested in Sea Salt and Paper, nerds.me slash Sea salt. Yay. We Parker, have a video on White Castle, too. Parker does a lot of work uh, creating these short links, <laughs> and so I figure I should probably share them with you. Of yeah. course. Nerds.me slash sea salt, nerds.me slash vendetta, and nerds.me slash White Castle, which, yes. like you said, mm -hmm. we also have a video we of that. We sure what, do. What is, is that a coincidence? Starring Yeah, Spencer all of these award-winning games that we just happen to have a pulse on? Like? It's yeah, almost maybe we just know. <laughs> we, yeah. What do you all idea think about do. these winners? Do you agree with them? Are there other games that you like that you might would have picked? Mm -hmm. Maybe they'd be different for the nerdies. Yeah, so uh, let's just take that last category. If you've played all three of those, Earth, Nucleum, the White Castle, do you think White Castle deserves to win? I do. I think so. I do. I think out of all of those, I think Earth for me was, it was, it was fine. I see why people like it. Nucleum was great, but I think it's a little, I don't know, just the White Castle feel, feels so smooth. Mm -hmm. it's, it's elegant. It's beautiful, too, yeah. It's elegant it's is the nice, word I would yeah. use. But yes, all the winners are great. And their burgers are amazing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, our next story. 
Um, there is some news, more news about the next Star Wars Unlimited set. Also affectionately called Swoo. Swoo. We've been calling it Swoo around here for mm-hmm. short. Swoo woo. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Fantasy Flight has released new images and uh, some new more news about the next set, Shadows of the Galaxy. Ooh. Yes, there's going to be over 250 new cards. Pedro. There's going to be a ton new mechanics. Uh, there's going to be lots of new twists and turns for deck building, and that comes straight from Fantasy Flight. Uh, we're going to be features new artwork with iconic characters such as the Mandalorian, as you saw, Grogu, he cute, and Moff Gideon. Look at him; he's menacing. He is. Oh, what a great, what a great show! I'm excited. Look at mm-hmm. Grogu. Look, he has no attack. You is exhaust him, or you you uh, you exhaust him to exhaust an enemy unit. That's so adorable. You're just overwhelmed with the yeah. sweetness. Yeah, there's one more too. This That's next great. one is a legendary. Let's and see it's it. Actually, oh, wow, it's so oh, good. it's so good. Does he have the little joystick handle on his hand? <laughs> um, he m- might in his hand. I don't know. No, I don't no, see it. They leave <laughs> that on the ship most of the time. Oh, that's yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So. Love that shot of him that's just holding so him. That's so good. <laughs> yeah. And it's, a, you know, if you know anything about the game, that's Sentinel means that you defend your uh, base, and that's what he's doing. He's defending Grogu there. I, I think we have a very valid question here. Yeah. And why does it say the Mandalorian and not Din Djarin? Um, that might be early Din-Jarin. in the story or something, or, or there might be a Din Djarin card. So some of them have like the little different mm-hmm. like subtext and stuff yeah. like that. Mm, so maybe you know there might be a different card. Now I have a question for you. If I were to be interested in this game, I just want to kind of get a, sure. a feel for it Absolutely. without buying like a big old booster box. Well, how would I get a uh, you know just easy easy? And we have some of these right <laughs> now. Uh, you can get the current set, Spark of the Rebellion. You can get the starter decks over at nerds.me slash swoo. So you can get some practice in and play as Darth Vader and Luke Skywalker because it's the only way to get those two mm. cards and uh, get you know get into it. Learn it. It's got the rule book in there. It's got a little pa- pa- uh, pa- uh, bleh, paper play mat. <laughs> And I can't even talk. Well, it's the best time for someone to stumble into the stream. Sure is. Like Frog <laughs> Toys over there says, not sure how I ended up here, but hello. <laughs> hello, hello, Frog Toys. Welcome. welcome. We're happy to have you. Welcome, yes. welcome. And Elisa's here. Hi, Elisa. Hello, how are Elisa. you? Yeah. All right, we've got 59 thumbs so far on YouTube. Amazing. That's Amazing. crazy. Which we still have plenty of time to reach the goal of 100 in order to yes. bump that $25 gift card giveaway up to 50 $50. Is there anybody out there right now watching that's won a gift card on the stream? And if so, what did you do with it? Do you oh, still have it unspent question. or did you use it for something? I'm dying to know. Because right now, this perfect time, because that's it for news for right now. Mm-hmm. We're moving on to the Q&A and the discussion part sure. of the show. So it's a perfect time for you to share with us either, hey, I got a gift card from here. Anybody, is this your first time in a stream? Just know that you might win a gift card. That's and here's true. what I bought with mine. Frog Toys. Yeah, if you're just new straight here. straight followed. Thank you so much. Hey, oh, thank, thank you, you, Frog, Frog Toys. Toys. Appreciate Welcome. it. Yeah, if you're new here, we do all sorts of giveaways. We have a lot of fun. We have a packed stream every single week on mm-hmm. Thursday at noon mm-hmm. central. So you can always look forward yeah. to it, and we'll always be here for you. Andy, good point. My blue he- or, uh, my blue Heather has won at least two. Yeah, <laughs> no. yeah there's been a few, <laughs> few double dippers around here. Yeah. It is possible. Now, the, li- the limit is you win one prize per stream, but so far, we haven't had to cut anybody off beyond that yeah. yet. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So We haven't had to cut anyone off yet. So oh, now, like Chelsea. Chelsea, have it. this is not a good question to ask. <coughs> if you could play a game with anyone from chat, who would it be? I can't pick. It'd be all of you. You know what? I, I'll play with whoever says um, hashtag uh, Team Joey. You're going to be playing Final Girl then. I'm going to be playing. <laughs> Got him. Dang. That was a good one. Thank you. I have to give you credit on that. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Joey's, Joey's <laughs> cut up. <laughs> that was pretty good. Uh, that was um, funny. We'll play, we'll play with everybody. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's um, great. Yeah, so this is the time where if you have any questions, please feel free to share them with us. We'd love to answer them. What have you been playing? What's the latest game to really blow your mind? What's the latest Game Nerds content to blow your mind? What'd you think of that Courtesans play, how to play video? Oh, yeah. I thought that that was pretty good. Yeah, see how it is. The (laughs) game's really cool, and um, it's going to be, it's one of the, uh, it's on the wheel of of, uh, April Insanity Games. Yes, so. Frog Toys just got a new board game a couple days ago. What'd you get? What and the is fact it? that you haven't opened it yet, I always open my games like that. See, I would like to, but mm-hmm. you gotta wait. We're waiting for this one. You gotta wait. Um, let's see. 
Stacy says, loved your short on Eclipse Day, by the way. Great, you're going to see it again. We're going to show it. For yeah. those who haven't seen it. Um, so thank you for the comments. Uh, we had a great time uh, going out there. Yeah, and hanging, out hanging out with the warehouse mm -hmm. crew and everybody. Ease, I just say, saw that Ease got out Lords of Waterdeep. That is a fantastic um, worker placement game that's right inside the D and D universe. Great. I mean, it, it stands the test of time. Great for anybody wanting to dive into that style of game. I just have to say, somebody asked if we saw the Jumanji SNL sketch. Did we see the not. Jumanji SNL sketch? No. Yes, that no. was great. No, it was. So the Jumanji SNL sketch. Basically, what happens is, um, what's her name? Kristen Wiig comes back. They're at this. They go to this dinner <coughs> with some friends, and this guy's dating this new girl. It's it's Kristen Wiig, and they're eating dinner. And they're like, "All right, now let's game night. Let's break out." And they bring out Ticket to Ride. And of course, some of these people have never heard of it. Oh, it's about trains. Blah 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 blah. And uh, she's like, "I'm not playing." And they're like, "Why? I, I'm just I don't play board games." And the reason is because she's afraid of being Jumanjied. Oh. of any <laughs> game and they go on this discussion well jumanji it's not about you're not gonna get sucked into the game it's the game comes out well then there's a discussion oh well with the new ones with the video games you go into the game i don't want she's like i'm not playing it and so she refuses to play because she doesn't want to get jumanji with ticket to ride which can you imagine it's right. trains and, and all that and so you're like oh you're you're silly but then all of a sudden the room starts shaking and then there's train smoke and you and there's like cross guards going in front of them between them and the camera and then um who was that um will forte shows up as the guy on the front of the box the engineer oh. with a little <laughs> and he's like oh everybody you lady you said you didn't want to play so you're excused from this but everybody else you're going <laughs> gonna have to deal with this, so it was great. It was or, really funny. Like, mm, what game solid. would you want to be Jumanji in? Oh, that's a good question. The White Castle. The White. Um, Fi hmm. Final Girl for final sure. Final Girl. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Parachute Panda. I'm trying to be the Final Girl. Um, uh, Parachute Panda would be fun. No, Myth Break, Mythwind. Break sure. Dancing Meeples. Mythwind for sure. Oh, wait, Mythwind. That's Mythwind, a good one. Yeah. yeah. Just mm -hmm. chill in my little Hobbit hole. Uh, Tokaido would be a good Jumanji game. That's another nice. That, that is a great, cozy game. Tonight. When I think of Jumanji, I keep expecting Robin Williams to pop out of your beard and I go, kinda look what like year Robin. is yeah. it? <laughs> yeah, I, I kind of have a, have a Robin what Williams beard. What year is it? <laughs> He's going to pop out of it like a jungle. Blue, my Blue Heather <laughs> says, my Mythwind is on my game bucket list. It's me Ooh. too, and I own it. So <laughs> I don't know how many it. times I've set it up planning on playing it, and you know how that goes. Maybe you don't. I hope you don't. <laughs> I hope you play all the games you 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 buy. Guys, it's been a while since I played a game at home. Really? Well, board game. <laughs> that sounded least. rough when you it said is. that. That hurt. I felt. It the, is. I felt it's the, sad the, the force. <laughs> what? <laughs> that was. Well, I just mean like, what I mean by that is. That's. Uh, oh no no it's it's totally me it's my my decision I could force people to play with me, um, <laughs> but it's like you go you have a long day at work, and. It just takes effort. Whereas for a video game, you can just sit in a chair and play. Yeah, that's true. And that's where I'm at right now. Hey, we're gamers around we here. We play games here. We're gamers. We ga we're gamers. We're gaming regardless. Um, Hunter, gaming. the gaming pip up says, do you have a game called Mr. Card Game? Or can you get it? I've never heard of this. Let's see. Uh-oh, Spencer's into it. This is going to be... I'm going to say no. You, th I've never seen such typing failure in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Mr... <laughs> I'm doing it sideways. This just in from Ichiban okay. on well, YouTube. No, we don't I got this. 70, got 72 uh -huh. thumbs. 72 on thumbs. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna make it. We're gonna make mm. it today, folks. We're gonna get there. Uh, we have Mr. President. Uh, no, we do not have Mr. Card Game. We have no. Mr. Jack. Let's see what it is. Stacy agrees with me. Uh, forcing people to play games with you is the best approach. Thank you. Uh, he's got a question there too. That's oh. cute. Uh, uh, that's cute. <laughs> um, stick figure? E says, do the thumbs reset every week? They do. They absolutely do. Yes, because it's essentially uh, its own video. So it's mm -hmm. like every YouTube video has a different thumb count. This one does. You know what wouldn't reset? We could do a Twitch goal one day for like followers. Because I know a lot of you on YouTube don't follow on Twitch. But, you know, you don't have to stay on Twitch. But, mm -hmm. you know, you go back and forth. Or maybe you like it over there. Maybe you like the extra emotes or what have you. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. it's still growing as well. That's true. Yeah, we'll try to work something out. Yeah, where, I mean, where we'll, we'll figure out the best exclusives. way to do it. I'm not against yeah. doing it. It's just the execution sure. of it because it's just a little bit different. And I know you're the Twitch expert. It's the same. Well, it's not, though, because once you follow, yeah, that's, you don't, like... 
Anyway, it's a discussion to be had. Like, yeah. you don't redo it every week. No, but they'll get notifications and things like that. You go further. You get mm. you go from 400 to 500, 500 to a million, whatever. Anyways, sure. You know. All right. Oh, hey, guess what? The news is over. Do we want to draw a winner? Uh, yeah, but you Real should quick. answer yeah. Frog Toy's Yes, frog I was going to question. answer uh, Frog Toy. says, why is the entry thing Flan Fam? Is that like a pudding reference or something? <laughs> <laughs> uh, there is a short of it on our on our mm-hmm. like TikTok and pretty much everywhere. Um, but yeah, it's it's a it's a it's something that we shared together, a joke that we shared together here on the stream early in er, like our, our first our first one of the year. Yeah, our first stream. Like mm-hmm. it was just a funny like thing about Flan and uh, yeah, it became a Spencer thing. Spencer never it, had it. Y'all before. are the Flan Fam. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah, if you so want to go back uh, watch that, you can see the context sure of can. that. But I think that's a great time now to. As we just gave somebody a little bit extra time to jump into the entries because there are 122 entries. Let's go to this lot. giveaway. Let's, let's get 122 likes. All right, let's let's do it. Um, right. We're gonna draw a winner, and this is great because we can build up the hype before Parker <laughs> clicks the button to randomly draw a winner. So hype. If, let's see some hype. If you want to s- see who won, show me some hype here in the yes. chat. Hi. Break our chat. Hype. 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 You can't make this stuff up. <laughs> you can't make what it up. What in the world? <laughs> they say the <laughs> show is scripted, but it's not. <laughs> <laughs> I love to see uh, chat flying. It's the best <laughs> feeling in the world. So, uh, give a backstory a little bit for those that have... <laughs> um, so again, for, for those those that uh, are new, uh, Geeks has this thing about giveaways. He, he hates he them. He hates them. <laughs> He's Ironic, just like another giveaway. Ah oh, man, it's <laughs> it's pure humor, not yeah. I, right. Because Geeks is also one wing, uh, worm span. Yes. he did win worm at, worm, span. at one yep. point. Well, so. congratulations! <laughs> yeah. He said the last giveaway. I'm sorry, everyone. <laughs> two time, two time <laughs> giveaway hater, giveaway winner. Yeah. Geeks, yeah. congratulations, Geeks. We're happy um, for you. You know what to do. Yeah, uh, but you do yeah. know what to do. Congratulations on your twenty five dollar gift card. That's not our only giveaway. We've yep. got lots more in the stream. Yep. That's We're right. I give away more things. More things, including a fifty dollars gift card if we get hundred likes. hundred likes on YouTube. Exactly. So that go right. do that. Can anybody hear that? Yeah, the AC. Our on neighbors. Yeah. Our neighbors. Mm-hmm. They're Making cooking uh, like old taquitos or something. <laughs> 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 All right, that was great. That was, that was a, a moment of the show that so was far. Fantastic. That was great. the best one. Yep, Congrats, definitely. Geeks. Wayne K. Hello. I'm just reading some names I haven't seen yet. Wayne K. Welcome. Shurd. Thomas. Bizpad. Bizpad. That's a fun name. That's a fun say. name. That's yeah. a good one. <laughs> uh, we're getting we're geared up to do food trial now. We're right, right, right about food trial. Sure. Is that, we, but we're we're just about there. Um, I don't know if I need to give a cue to. Yeah. Uh, Laura, uh, are you going to be able to help us out real quick with the food? Well, uh, that's yeah. Good. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and do a couple of things so that way it's ready. <coughs> Is it heated? For yeah. That's good. Okay, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All, All right. right. Cool, 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 Thank cool. you. Got Just it. like microwave it every 30 minutes. All right. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and um, we've got, under, yeah. So now what we're going to do is, first of all, encourage everybody. Sure. Yes. We've already done it once. We've been doing this uh, segment that's been a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, again, we're a community, and we really like to see mm-hmm. uh, the things that you all are up to and what you're into and all that kind of stuff. So people send in their shelfies, the stuff that they did this week, their game nights, their fan uh, flan art. Go and, go uh, eat some all flan. All sorts of that. Flan. Yeah. Go eat some. Try Tell some flan. Send Tell us, us your you um, your uh, gram worthy picture yeah. of flan. Send us a <laughs> clip. Send us a video, mm-hmm. or send us a picture of you tasting flan, and tell us what you <laughs> think about it. Absolutely. Uh, all that kind of stuff. You can send that stuff over to marketing at gamenerds.com, and we have a few submissions. Uh, this uh, this week because we had the eclipse. The eclipse was yeah. a big deal. Huge we put out deal. a call for people to send us their eclipse pictures, which I know are mm-hmm. pretty difficult to get. But hey, we've got a few yeah. to show. We have a subscriber. Thank you, Renee McKenzie, you. over on YouTube. Thank you for subscribing on YouTube. All right, let's see some of those submissions. We've oh. got this from Joe T. Joe, wow. Look at that. Look at that. Look, what, what, lens what you, flare. The lens flare. That did, is uh, did J.J. Great. Abrams direct <laughs> your picture? Yeah. Is this straight from Interstellar? No, that that's, uh, what's his name? Zack Snyder. You can see the slow-mo. Oh, yeah. It's, oh. it's so slow that it doesn't move at all. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you, Joe Very T. Very nice. This, awesome. is from my, this is actually from my wife. That oh, is great. Oh, that's a really good one. Wow. That's, These are awesome. It's just... 
it's like perfectly centered and everything. Perfectly. Yeah, she had another picture where you could actually see Venus in the like bottom corner. Wow, but really? Yeah. So yeah. look, that almost looks like somebody's eye. It kind of does. Like, what if you put yeah. that over your eye? That's really artsy. How did you mm. come up with it? <laughs> I'm an artsy kind of guy. Yeah. Uh, so Incredible thoughts. Mm -hmm. Heather there, and then we've got... Vanessa, Vanessa you can see that little moon Whoa. peeking just starting to take a bite out of the sun. Some those progress. are dis distant planets. Um, 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 um. Yeah. Those are, that's what those are? I don't think no, so. No, those are just yeah. lens flares. Those are aliens. Yeah, that's Come like, on. that's yeah. Ohio. That's uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> Ohio's a distant planet. Yeah. <laughs> There's Texas. Uh, All right, yeah. let's see who was next. Oh, this is our clip. Oh, this oh, yeah. is our clip. Okay. In case you missed a short. Uh, you know, we Broke out the drone here. Can they hear the music? Game Nerds HQ. Is yeah. the music playing? Uh, no, you guys will commentate okay. over All right, so yeah, we got some moon pies. It's moon a pie. Cosmic brownies. You know There's those us. guys. See us there. Parker's so excited. And then immediately <laughs> takes his glasses off. And stared at the sun. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it was just really cool. Yeah, to, was, uh, to oh, shout there. out to Lisa, mm -hmm. the HR lady. This is, these are the kind folks that pack your shipments and orders every day. Oh, here it goes. Ready? It's crazy these. that you can and see it. Yeah, you can see it getting dark. And then the lights right? just like turn yeah. on. It's there not a go. time lapse mm -hmm. either. That just happened. And I love being able to see our sign here in just a minute. Look at that. When it gets dark. It was crazy. Uh, Stacy, mm -hmm. you send them to a marketing at gamenerds.com. That was at like 1.45 in the afternoon. Yeah. <laughs> that was like pitch so black. Fun. <laughs> mm. And, and it's us waving by. <laughs> that was there a fun time. Fun, fun uh, mm. staff, you know, Interaction that we got to do with the whole and, team, and let's uh, let's give uh, Joey some some props for putting that video together. Aww. Yeah, well done, well done. Oh, well done. The way he shucks. timed it up with the music and everything, no, that was nice. Shucks. Great, very job. good, great work. Did you say it's a good edit? I think so. Oh, thank you. Yeah, if you're scrolling our Instagram or you know mm -hmm. Twitter or anything, you can go like that video too. Oh, okay. that is a scroll stopping video. Scroll stopper. Skirt. <laughs> 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 so Skirt. So. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Scrolling so Slow down, far. phone. Yeah, but really, like, there's <laughs> there's no real real parameters as far as what to send us. Like, if it's something you want us to show on the stream, we'll do it. Mm -hmm. I mean, within you know what's appropriate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, we'll filter it. Of course. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We just put it up. It. But like, hey, if you want to say this is my favorite game, just take a picture of you and your favorite game. Mm -hmm. It's fine. Yeah. We'd love to do that. We we just want to get to know, and I'm sure the community likes knowing the names or the the faces or even the collections behind the people that they interact with mm -hmm. every week. We've had painted minis, mm -hmm. board yeah. game collections, all, people all have kinds sent of stuff. So many, so many different things. It's it's it's, it's awesome. Mm -hmm. Your best caricatures of these two guys. I want to see, <laughs> see some caricatures. I want to see some funny art. I want to see the caricature of you. Oh, memes. Uh, what you have? Yeah. Oh, that's true. I have oh, one yeah. in there. Um, <laughs> I, there's also I'd love to see some memes from. Can the I show mine? Maybe gifts or yeah. Uh, just funny stuff, screen grabs, clips, things like that that you guys want to share. I'm gonna show my caricature. We so we had a game nerds uh, holiday party back in December, and we uh, were able to hire some caricature artists. And you guys want to see mine here? Shall we answer I that question it. from Park Cofield real quick? From Park Cofield uh, on Twitter. Or on how sorry, can we send Twitch. things to you? Oh, oh, how can we send things to you? You can send uh, stuff over uh, at marketing. At gamenerds.com, and it's an email. So mm -hmm. uh, send that over, and we will get it on the stream next week. Mm -hmm. Or if you want to tweet it to your followers yep. or you whatever, can, you can tag yeah. us. You can tag us on on Twitter. You can tag us on pretty much anywhere that you can interact Instagram, with us on Facebook. social media. Mm -hmm. uh, you're you're more than welcome to send it through those channels as well. Mm -hmm. um, and then who knows? Maybe we'll have other ways to do it in the future. Mm -hmm. All right, here's my. Is there any chance that you can we, you can send us something in the mail? Actually, yeah, you can. Um, you can send it to like Game Nerds Marketing, and you can send it to our warehouse. Yeah, at the bottom yeah. of our, our homepage, GameNerds.com is our warehouse address. So just, just put like attention. just put like attention Spencer or marketing team mm -hmm. or something like that, yeah. and uh, they'll get it to us for mm -hmm. sure. Yep. All right, so here's my caricature. Hold it a little closer to you. To so me. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Can you lower the great. brightness maybe a little? Oh, is it too bright? Yeah, it might be you know, washed out a little. <laughs> All right. Is that there you go. There we go. Yep. I have one too, but I don't feel like Isn't going to get it right now. It's way worse. Yours yeah. is good. Mine's yeah. great. Yeah, that yours isn't complimentary. Yours is good. My my caricature, the, yeah. the the person that um that drew it was really mean to me. So <laughs> <laughs> it's insane. <laughs> it's insane. Yeah, Spencer's is like straight out of like mm. a cartoon. Yeah. yeah. And like actually complimentary. Oh, well, maybe I'll show it one day. Yeah. It's too far. <laughs> yeah. All right, I smell uh, something delicious. It smells super good mm -hmm. in here. I think we're ready. Okay. Joey, so for those yeah, that <laughs> are unaware of what we do, so just, again, something that kind of happens organically became a thing of people getting excited. This is insane. 
Are well, you serious? Because I we I, we try something I've never had before every week. It's sometimes it's exotic. Sometimes it's like I can't believe you haven't had that before. This time though, it's Joey's turn. It's my. He's turn. never had poutine before. I'm gonna explain. Okay. okay. On the left is your traditional poutine. Okay, that's what I gotta try first. And then, then. on the right is the. Texas fried chicken fried steak. Version. Chicken fried steak version. Yeah. That sounds mm -hmm. awesome. Yeah. So okay. this this is from a place called the Maple Leaf Diner, which has been featured on the Travel Channel, and some other places. I think. So well, Gordon Ramsay famous. hasn't visited there. I don't know if Gordon Ramsay's been there or not. All right, uh, Joey. But why? Why? What's your like hold up with poutine? I, I just, I I just haven't gone around to it. I've never even like seen it at a restaurant. Mm -hmm. So. It's not that I wouldn't try it, but you're not a big fan of oh one of. Oh my goodness! You're not I a. Mean, oh. Look at this! Oh my, what, wow. Is there steak in this is the chicken fried steak. Whoa. There's actual steak there's, in there. Yeah, there's like chipped beef in there. I that is. Want some of that. That's all good. Good. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. Oh well. So, so okay. Yeah. Lara, right, load us up have over here. Those. <laughs> yes, yes, so, yes. This yeah. smells really good. That's Full disclosure, crazy. I'm mm -hmm. not a big fan of gravy, mm -hmm. but I'm not going to be like Spencer and be like, <laughs> I'm going to go like this. That, I'm going to try it with a good attitude. That look just like me. You do. It's exactly what you do. So Real quick, right. pe people are like, poutine in Texas? So this Maple Leaf Diner is actually owned by and was yeah. started by Canadian transplants. Yes. Okay, so yeah. Uh, they came poutine way giveaway win. Well, you might get one if I don't like this. <laughs> they came way down south. Joey's not a big <laughs> fan of gravy in go general. Yeah, right, here we go. Good. He's not a big gravy guy, so this is different for him. I told That's him this insane. Is, this is the eighth good, wonder huh? of the world. That is really do? good. Oh, you're going to leave these? Okay. That's insane. The Game Nerds wants to know what poutine is. It's fries and cheese curds and gravy so and whatever else, I guess. <laughs> yeah. So, Laura, you're the culinary expert. That's really expert. good. Can you explain to people like what poutine is? You can come over here. Oh, okay. Um, hey, guys. Okay, so first off, I looked up because you were asking about poutine, the word. Um, when I looked it up, uh, they thought it was kind really of good. like, and came from English for pudding. Uh, but then another and more common thought about the word poutine is it comes from like a Quebec bastardization of French, <sighs> meaning mess, basically, mess. And it's French fries with brown gravy, yes. Um, Quebec soise slang for mess. Um, brown <laughs> gravy and cheese curds. This version that we have has like melted cheese in it. It's a white cheese. I'm gonna guess maybe like a white cheddar. Yeah. And then it looks like chipped beef in there. Um, but yeah, these are like home style fries too. Did y'all notice that? Mm -hmm. uh, so they don't mess that around. That was good. Mm -hmm. um, that was insane. Canadians do eat mayonnaise on their <laughs> fridge fries. That's not in poutine though. So, I mean, it's basically like eating a, I don't know, uh, like a pot roast on top of your potatoes, like french fries and gravy and beef and cheese. There we go. <laughs> yeah, they put chipped beef in here. That's it. Well, that was insane. I mean, that was really good. I, I like it. He but it. it's hard to it's, it's hard to find something I don't like, but. <laughs> I will say. I told you you were going to love it, dude. It was good. I'm ready. We're ready to move mm. to Canada, right? Oh yeah, yeah. I'd love. To I will say love that the there, um, version with the chicken fried steak is, mm. Mm. is good. That was insane. Yeah. Oh, was that this one? I liked it. Oh, Very so happy good. With it. Okay. All right. Um. Oh, thanks for the tip about Sprouts. They hey, they sell cheese curds. Oh, okay. Yeah. So yeah. Um. Love, the poutine, which is, again is a very funny word. <laughs> Did somebody say that? No. Oh, you just said that. I just said that. Yeah. <laughs> it looked like you were reading it. Oh, no. <laughs> Anybody been to Canada? Have you ever been to Canada? I have not. Do you have any mm. Canada? Uh, did I say that? Do, uh, yeah. Has anybody any, been is to it, Canada? Anybody have any uh, Canada? Mm -hmm. <laughs> anybody got that? If you have not been to Canada, you can go to Epcot, according to John Tripp, or according to John Tripp's Canadian friends, and have the poutine at the Canadian Pavilion. It's the best they've had. Denver oh. B, what up? Hey, uh, Denver you B. You missed a lot. That's okay. why I'm glad you're here. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Uh, we, yeah, we're, we're glad everyone's <laughs> here, as, as usual. Um, you guys are awesome. Now, what's coming up next? We are about to get into the best sellers yes. of the month of Feb, uh, March. Feb, March. Yeah, so Laura's going to come over here and take my spot. <laughs> she says she's, no. she's, she's, eating, refusing, she's eating poutine. She's refusing to go. She's eating poutine. Um, she's going back and forth between the poutines. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Stacy's comment. 
Poo-poo-teen? Poo-teen? Stacy's comment is a poop emoji with teen. Oh, nice. Poo-teen. Yeah, that's a good way to Get say it. it. Mm-hmm. Good one. That's Imagine good one. Eric. Welcome back from your work meeting. How did it go? How did it go? Yeah, remember, if you ever need to get out of a work meeting or an appointment, you just give us you a call. You just let us know. Spencer yeah. can give we'll, you a quick... We'll, put your, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll set your boss straight. That's right. Yeah. All right. We're going to do this. Uh, Laura's actually just not like wanting to go. Yeah. We yeah. gotta, we gotta do it. <laughs> She's just not as eating. much fun as this. Thank you, Eric. Imagine Eric. <laughs> uh, I'm glad Laura, to this, hear that. This will we be are all gone by the time you're meeting. done. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, go eat some. Joey right and now. I are just gonna be sitting. Hey, back I here get to eating. be off camera for she a little bit. Eat poutine. Save some for me, and I will no. make sure I get to give that to Laura. There might be a few bites left. All right, so we're gonna be talking about the best sellers of. Gotta March. get the gravy off my oh, face. Oh yeah. No one Sorry. wants a no one wants a gravy face. <laughs> I'm good. I got a denim jacket on. <laughs> okay. All right. Hey, welcome to the table. Thanks so much. I'm glad to be here to talk to you about some of the best sellers of March. Yeah, this is gonna be great. I know love people love numbers like this. So, um, for everybody else here, if you're just joining us, hello. My name is Spencer, and, and I'm Laura, and we're here to be talking about the top sellers of games, card games miniatures and rpgs of the month of march for 2024 at Woo! and we're going to kick this list off with board games and for board games we're going to do 25. Mm. that's a lot Mm -hmm. the reason why we do 25 is to cover things like expansions and and all that so we're going to enjoy doing that starting with um is everybody ready we good to go all right set we're good to go so we're going to start things off with number 25. That is Scout. Yes, that is definitely. I know what? I've noticed, particularly in the warehouse, Scout's always easy to like slip in real quick to mm-hmm. an order. And so it's been do- happening a lot lately. Yeah, and it's, it's so popular because it's a great portable little card game. Those Oink games always do so well. And it's a fun game. I it is. Scout. Yeah, it's one. super neat. Um, it's different as far as like, uh, the the color scheme of mm. the cards and, and the box and everything, but uh, it is it's a very quick and yeah. easy to learn game. I really liked that. I like the names of all the circus acts on the cards, even <laughs> though it's technically just cards with numbers. They're still represent circus acts with fun names. So there's that. Mm-hmm. All right, what do we got for number twenty four? Oh, we are looking at number twenty four for Medici or Medici, whichever it's you prefer. Medici. Well, I mean, there's different pronunciations in Italy for oh. it. Uh, this is referring to a particular family in history. Uh, so well, the Medici's or the Medici fans, uh, family. Uh, but yeah, this game, it looks gorgeous. Mm-hmm. It looks yeah. really fun. So. I'm pretty sure this is a reprint, a new edition of... That sounds sh- about right. Should I say? Would, can I say what I want to say? Say whatever you Medici. like. Medici. You just don't correct. Okay. All right. I won't <laughs> correct anybody, especially you, because you know... Much more than I do, especially <laughs> about foreign words. So there we go. There you go. Yeah. So <laughs> number twenty-four is Medici. Number twenty-three. I like this. I'm glad that this is still on the list. I think it's on the list last month. Number twenty-three is Fortune and Glory, the cliffhanger game, and this is the revised edition. Uh, again, this came out several years ago. This is a new version that. Uh, fixes some rules things, some clarifications. Much more compact yes. version. Yes, so it's a little bit more square than the long I think game. it's probably a quarter of the size of the original yeah. <laughs> game, um, which excites. I mean, I'm excited. Mm. I really want to try this game out because I really liked the other mm. version. So like a more streamlined yeah. version, maybe smaller footprint, much more portability. That's all good news to me. I love Flying Frog games. Last Night on Earth, and so uh, a Last Night on Earth of... Uh, touch of evil, you know. Uh-huh. So this is going to be a lot of fun. And if you want to check out Fortune and Glory, the cliffhanger game, you can head to nerds.me slash fortune to get your copy. Great. Uh, coming in at number 22 is Summoner Wars, the second edition. This is the Storm Goblins faction expansion. I mean, Summoner Wars, it always cleans up, mm-hmm. I feel like. I mean, they at least, they, they take their time and they're very precise over at Plaid Hat with what they're going to release in each of these. Yeah. Uh, but then as soon as it comes out, it's off the shelf, man. Yeah, Summoner Wars has got a pretty big following and anything that comes out that like this expansion deck to further enhance someone's gameplay of it is mm-hmm. going to do well. And of course, this is a pre-order and you can pre-order it as well if you're a Summoner Wars fan at nerds.me slash stormgoblin. So there you go. 
Mm, I love me a Sto- storm goblet. <laughs> a storm <laughs> goblet, that's right. <laughs> All right, number 21. Hey, would you hey, look at that? That sounds familiar. Back to back. Summoner Wars, second edition. Shimmer Sea Fae faction expansion deck. There we go. Um, so, yeah, we've got two Summoner Wars products, both whatever it's called, uh, expansion decks to add to the game. <laughs> and uh, so, you know, we already covered that, what the game is. But if you want to check out this one, get in on that expansion or that expansion pre order. You can go to nerds.me slash shimmer C. That's a nice little rhyme. Shimmer C. Nerds.me slash shimmer C. Ding. <laughs> 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 okay, uh, then just a little bit ahead of that at number 20 is War of the Ring, the card game, the Fire and Swords expansion. Mm-hmm. Now, War of the Ring uh, is. Is this a reskinning of a different game? Well, it's, you got War of the Ring, the board game, which has been around for a while. The, True. the card game, I believe, just came out last year. So, you know, just the card version. Everything's got a card game version these days. Right. Um, but it, it got a big following very quickly, though, mm-hmm. I feel yeah. like. So mm-hmm. uh, that's great. That's, that's super awesome. Um, War of the Ring was a super, or is a super popular board game. So to see the card game coming up and, and getting just right up there at the same level. Pretty much expected and definitely delivering. So mm-hmm. that's awesome. And where can they get that? Oh, well, they can pick that up if they go to nerds.me slash fire sword. That's That'd be an awesome weapon. Yeah, fire sword. Or <laughs> fire sword. It makes me think of like Super Smash Bros. Yeah. There is yeah. that fire sword uh-huh. that you can get. <laughs> or what if your name was, what's your name? Fire sword. Not as cool? Uh, right. So moving on. Moving on <laughs> to number 19 um, is Nar. Heard Nar. of it? Never heard of ever heard of it. <laughs> it's been on the list for a while, for a few months now, from Pandasaurus. Have you ever seen a video of how to play for it? Mm. I have. I'm in it. So you can go to our YouTube channel to watch that to learn how to play. Mm-hmm. Um, but this was on pre-order for a while. It's finally out. So a uh, game about Vikings going either exploring or getting a Viking crew, getting resources, really cool training mechanisms going on there. Uh, but check it out at Game Nerds. You can go to nerds.me slash nar. You know, I have to say that when I'm packing that game, mm-hmm. I always have fun because, you know, there's the joke online about how nar is how you say no in Australian mm-hmm. uh, with a with an Australian accent. So I like to, I giggle to myself and I'm over there going, oh, nar. It's like, hey, you want to play <laughs> this? Pack what is it? Nar. nar. You, you, you don't want to play it anymore. Nar. nar. No. <laughs> Okay, we're getting a little silly over here, I guess. I guess so. So let's move on to number 18 then, and that one is Windmill Valley. Mm. Uh, this is an early bird pre-order as well, so that's always super exciting, and we know that we're probably looking at a quite a hot commodity here if it's already coming up as an early bird pre-order this high Yeah, on the list. I feel like this kind of came out of nowhere. I just kind of saw, oh, it's, it's a pretty field with flowers and a windmill. <laughs> But yeah, people are excited about it, and um, I believe it's from Board and Dice, which same publisher as Nucleum, mm. uh, any of the you know Teotihuacan, uh, Takenu. They do a lot of great games, so I think a lot of this might be based on just what their great track r- record is. That's true. That's a good point. Yeah. So, uh, Windmill Valley, you can get that at nerds.me slash windmill. Uh, all right. Well, I just mentioned Nucleum, uh-huh. didn't I? I didn't even mean to do this. Number and seven. we just talked about Australia, too. We. <laughs> wow. So now for number 17. Number 17 is Nucleum, Nucleum. Australia expansion. There you go. So it just kind of all comes full it circle all just, there. We mm. should probably stop now. I don't think you can get back. I don't, I don't know if I can handle it. Mm. I mean, it's just so exciting, <laughs> all of this coming together like this. <laughs> it's what happens when you're live. Oh, you know, you love it. So anyway, number 17 was Nucleum Australia Expansion, expansion for Nucleum, and uh, just takes it to Australia. There we go. There you go. Maybe you have to look out for the dingoes. Or the Bluey. Oh, or Healer Bluey. family. <laughs> are you going to play Nucleum Australia? Nar. Oh, you're going to play... Nar? Nar. <laughs> <laughs> you can get that at nerds.me slash Australia. Don't know what's happening anymore. <laughs> <laughs> All right, number 16. Hey, perfect. This is coming up for me. It's mm-hmm. Dune War for Arrakis. You know about that game. I know a little bit about that game. Why? <laughs> because I got to do an unboxing of it. Mm-hmm. Uh, what a super cool game. Yeah. Um, 
super great artwork. Uh, the pieces are amazing. Of mm -hmm. course, I mean, it's from, yeah. come on, so. Come on what? I mean, come on. Come on, it's gonna be good. I mean, come on, those minis, they're great, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, <laughs> so <laughs> make sure you check out nerds.me slash Arrakis, that's A-R-R-A-K-I-S. And you, you pointed out in your video that you can turn it upside down and it still works. Then it's not still upside down. You can turn the box upside down. Is there down. an upside down? It's not upside down because it's still there's no upside right down. side up. It, it's it's kind of a pretty cool, interesting quandary you have there. You're yeah. never turning it upside down whenever you flip it over. There you go. There you go. You're always right. <laughs> I am. Number <laughs> fifteen we have here is Lost Ruins of Arnak, the Missing Expedition expansion. Continues to do very well. Um, I think I say this every time that I really want to play this. And so until I play it, I'm going to say that. I know. As long as people don't get tired of it. Every time I pack mm -hmm. that in the warehouse, I'm always like, oh, I've got to remember to get mm. this for Spencer soon. Because he, we love Lost Ruins. I mean, that has gotten so much play mm -hmm. uh, with any group that we've been with. And then we have ex added the expansion, mm -hmm. not, not not Missing one, Expedition. Yeah. Uh, that's the Leaders, mm -hmm. Expedition Leaders yeah. expansion. So, uh yeah, this sounds cool. Doesn't it add like a campaign element? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, and it's like a two-player. Cool. You can do like a one to two-player co-op campaign. So yeah, no, that's, check. that's awesome. Yeah. Or this is also known as Lost Ruins of Narnak. <laughs> you know. I can't take credit for that. <laughs> Got to give credit to the chat for that one. Uh, uh, so where can they find that? They can get that at nerds.me slash missing. Missing? Mm -hmm. All right, there we go. It's always fun to see what we pick to be our in our hyperlink. Element. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of a game in itself. Mm -hmm. uh, so then after that, hey, look what's back. We've got some unmatched. It wouldn't be a Game Nerds bestseller list without an unmatched title on there. Nope. That's for sure. And this at number 14 is the newest title uh, that is out right now mm -hmm. is Sun's Origin. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Again, we're, we're taking... This great game that is so popular, but we're adding these new elements to it. So with Sun's Origin, I'm guessing we're going a little more like, we're going samurai, maybe we're doing some like kung fu in there and stuff, which is a new element that we haven't really explored before in these games, which is really cool. Yeah, they do a good job of branching out and hitting lots of different, you know, styles. We're go going Shakespeare. Soon. Oh yeah, we're I mean, going to go Shakespeare. That's cool. That's going to be on this list. <laughs> what? So, uh, There's something there for anybody right. and anybody's interests and likes. That's really cool. So head to nerds.me slash sun to get your copy of that. Okay. All We've right. heard of this game before here too. We have. Uh, number 13, it's Sea Salt and Paper Extra Salt Expansion. Extra Salt. I mean, what an easy thing to add to your order too. Salt. Just that nice little pack of salt. Yeah, like a Whataburger. <laughs> Just add some salt. <laughs> like your Whataburger. Mm -hmm. It's not an experience with Spencer if he doesn't mention Whataburger. Uh, yeah, uh, it's it's just a nice little pack that's, that fits easy into mm -hmm. your order. Gotta love that. Uh, yeah. So definitely a great, easy thing to pick up. Nerds.me slash extra. Extra. We don't want to add too many words in the link for you, so just extra. Mm -hmm. Hope we don't ever sell the gum. Extra. You know, oh, no, that's the TV that's show. That's a TV show. <laughs> There you go. Yeah. Cool. Let's move on. <laughs> All right. So number 12 is another expansion, and this is Dune Imperium Uprising. Ooh. Yes. Uh, this is uh, for the Dune Imperium game, mm -hmm. and I've never played it. So I don't have a lot to say about this one other than um, it's been some kind of Dune game listing, whether it's this, Arrakis, whatever. Seems to be consistently on the list month to month. So yes. Dune is going to be popular for a while. Yeah. I predict. <laughs> if Timothy Chalamet has anything to say about it. <laughs> so you can pick up your copy at nerds.me slash uprising. I, this is the one I couldn't remember. And um, I have to say, this is actually, it's an expansion, but it's also a standalone. Mm. And mm. The, the going sentiment is that it is better to just play it standalone huh. and not as an expansion. So technically, technically an expansion but can be standalone. That's cool. As well. Yeah. I don't think I've ever played a game like that. Hmm. I don't know. Okay. All right. Interesting. Ooh, this is one I'm excited about. Mm -hmm. I'm dying to get my hands on this one. Yes. Uh, at number 11, this is Sky Team. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I want to play this so bad. I want to do a live stream of this one. This could be a good one because I feel like this could be real exciting, real tense, yes. real 
um, suspenseful mm -hmm. for whoever's playing. I feel like it would be like there was a, there was a game we played before once. It was a, it's meant to be a solo game, but we mm. played it together. It was that dice rolling game with like power. What was it? Uh, Oh, I don't know. Remember? No. We streamed. Oh, um, Under Falling Skies? Under Falling Skies. That yeah. one was super cool and like tense and exciting. Mm -hmm. And I feel like Sky Team is going to deliver that too with this yeah. co op element. You're both trying to handle all of these different elements of the plane to get it to land right. Oh, man. Yeah. Well, and hey, awesome. this was on our list last week of games for two players. Hey. 10 games, great, 10 great games for two players. And so. Um, I mean, I would not be surprised if this was on the list for April since we were like, hey, you should buy this because mm -hmm. it's great for two players. And so, my birthday is coming up, so maybe it, that will help contribute it to the list if it gets purchased for Hey, me. everybody. Laura's birthday is in four days, by the way. <sighs> yeah. Four days. <laughs> I know. So, Shocked emoji. Yeah. Uh, right. So... The way you can get your copy, the way I'm going to be getting my copy is nerds.me slash sky. There you go. Um, all right, now we're into the ten, the final ten best-selling board games and expansions. Some people might call it the top ten. The top ten, yeah. Yeah. Some people, not me. I'm not oh. some people. Okay. No, I'd call it the top ten. <laughs> um, coming in at number ten is The Veil of Eternity. Oh. Yeah, we've seen this one on here for quite a while. I know some fans of that game. Yeah. Um, lots of talk about this one, about dragons and stuff. You mm, can dragons and stuff. Dragons and stuff. <laughs> you can not like all games. <laughs> Wormspan, at least. <laughs> yeah. uh, but you can learn more about this, The Veil of Eternity, and even buy your copy at nerds.me slash veil. All right, so I know you're wanting to know what's next. At number nine, it's Through the Desert. Mm, now this... This is an early bird pre-order, too. It is, which, mm -hmm. if you don't know, this is a great time. We have pre-orders, and we have early bird pre-orders. What's, what's the difference? What's the difference? Do you want me to answer? Well, uh, yeah, because okay. I don't know the answer. Well, the <laughs> difference is early bird pre-orders are extra special deals that we can offer you just because it's so far. You're an early bird, right? It's like it's little. You're, is it's, this it's, what you getting the worm? You getting the worm. Oh, okay. The worm, in the case of game nerds, is even more of a discount off your price. Ooh. And that's a delicious worm. <laughs> That's one tasty worm. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so uh, by ordering this further in advance, you get an even bigger discount on it. So you can do that. But just Through the Desert is an old game. It's an old Reiner Canizia game. I thought that title sounded familiar. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. been around for a while, so this is a, a reprint. It is. And it's okay. from All Play. So it's going to be a great, Ooh. a great, they're going to do a great job with it. They will. Mm -hmm. yeah. So um, great, uh, just classic. Everybody that Reiner Canizia, yeah. man. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I, I've, I've played it before, and I wouldn't mind having a copy of this. Hmm. Is that um, a hint? I mean, if I wanted to, <laughs> I could get it at nerds.me slash desert. Hey. Because that's where you do. That's how you do it. <laughs> that's right. All right, number eight. We've alluded to it before. Mm. Here's sea salt and paper. Hanging in there. There it in is. In the top ten. I mean, it hasn't fallen out of the top ten yet. And I wonder if, like, if you added it with the amount of copies of the expansion, how much more they would go up the list you know oh, if we combine if we, we combine don't, those two different but items but yeah because the expansion is a couple of cards a couple i mean it's a few that's a good yeah, yeah. good sized deck yeah, that little, they little add smaller. a little pack Probably about five cards no 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 no, no. i've no, opened no, no. it before it's it has five cards five there's <laughs> yeah, extra there's, stuff in there's there thick cards though there's extra stuff there's, in there a, there's too, a rule book okay a little rule pamphlet oh cute yeah <laughs> like the salt but we're talking about the actual it's not cute uh, game, but yeah, we we've talked about that a lot, so we'll just move on. But you can get it at nerds.me slash sea salt. Sea salt for this one. Mm -hmm. Okay, there you go. Uh, great. So, oh boy, number seven, guys. What are you doing with your hands? I'm heating them up. Is that a clue? It sure is, because number seven is Heat, the Heavy Rain expansion. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, guys, how exciting! It this game, oh my gosh, it gets my heart pumping. Especially when you're getting to the end of that last mm. lap. You're like, what's going to happen? And I don't want my car to blow up. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm looking forward to the rain. I love rain. I do. And so, I mean, not you don't want game, <laughs> you don't rain in every game. Right? <laughs> our, you don't want rain in nar. Nar rain in nar. Nar rain, please. But we will, we love it in the game world. Mm, so yeah. you can get that in this expansion when you go to nerds.me slash rain. Heat rain, heat rain. 
Heavy Rain. That's, That's right, it is. Okay, let's Heavy go to number rain. six. Okay, number six is Ark Nova Marine Worlds expansion. There's a lot that of expansions thing has been on hanging this. hanging on there. It has, ever since it's been pre-ordered. Uh, it's been on there. Yeah. And um, I mean, I feel like every time we restock it, it's gone. Boom, gone. Yeah. yeah, it goes quick. So again, uh, talked about a lot. Not much more to say about it other than it's at number six on the bestsellers list. And you can get it at nerds.me slash marine. You can also get the Zoo Map Pack. You can. As well. Zoo Map Pack number one. Right. Is the name of that expansion. I'm surprised that that's not <laughs> up there with it. Because I feel like every time I've packed that yeah. Marine Worlds expansion, I'm always also putting in the Yeah, I don't know. Zoom I think I think everybody that, you know, there's there probably a lot of people have it at this point. Because oh. that's been out for a while. Oh, okay. Yeah, I bet. My bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, number five. Ooh, it's the White Castle. Hey. What's it doing here? It's the White Castle. Love the game. Yes. And it gave I know. a video on it. Yeah, we do. And that's why that's why it's up here. It's because oh, of our video. Oh, okay. That's because of us. Uh, yeah, White we'll Castle. pat ourselves on the back here. <laughs> the sequel to Red Cathedral by DeVere. Great game. And I think it's going to be up here for a while. If you want to buy it, you can go to nerds.me slash White Castle. There you go. But you don't have to buy it. Is that right, Parker? <gasps> What's going on? Yeah, I've just got word in that there's uh, something coming down the pipeline in the form of a, what is this? A copy of the White Castle that we're going to be giving away today. And 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 and, and to clarify, the White Castle a copy of the White Castle. Yeah, we're not giving you any burgers. <coughs> no today. burgers. Not, the sliders do not come included. That's the expansion next year. Mm-hmm. The, the mm-hmm. burgers, the mm-hmm. sliders. Okay. The, uh, the drive-through. Yeah. Yeah. The drive-through S- expansion. So, chat, this is your time to enter the giveaway to win a copy of the White Castle, and this came to us from Devere. So, thank you, Devere, for the copies to be able to give away. Uh, on this stream. Everybody say, yay, Devere. Thank you, Devere. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so (laughs) this is your chance. Um, You know, with a gift card, you get to choose what to get. With this, we're telling you what you get. A a top five bestseller? top five bestseller. And so if you're... free? If you are indecisive like I am, you don't know what to do with your gift card, this is a better deal for you. That's the way I sell it anyway. (laughs) <laughs> nice right. sell. Nice so sell. Are we ready to start this? Uh, I uh, uh, yes. I'm okay. Ready. So so we're gonna start this giveaway, and then we'll draw a winner once the an end of this whole bestsellers because we're gonna do TCGs, minis, RPGs, all that uh, is over, and that's when we'll draw the winner, giving you plenty of time to enter. Yes. Okay. So um, let's do this. How do they enter this? What is the little uh, code that they need to enter in a chat? It's just exclamation castle. Exclamation castle. That's right. Exclamation castle. And you can start typing that in right now. Exclamation castle. No purchase Woo! necessary. Open go, to U.S. Go, residents go, go, only. Go, 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 go. And go. you have a few minutes to enter. Yep. So yeah, go for it. Get in there. I hope you win. Clickety yes, clack. I hope you win. All right. Okay. So uh, we'll check in on that here in a bit. Okay. So while that's going, let's move on to number four. Number four is good old Mage Knight board game. I, I mean, Mage Knight, that's that's kind of an old title. It is, and it's even an older thing because it's based off of a miniatures kind of mm-hmm. system called Mage Knight. And so you have Mage Knight, the board game, that's awesome. which has been around for a while. And now you have an expansion, which the excitement about this is that it's the first new content for it in a while. Dang. Yeah, so uh, that's this why... It's exclusive. It, that's why you need to get on it. That's why it's so high up on our list at number four, the Apocalypse Dragon expansion. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's an early bird pre-order. Hey, you're going to get extra special discounts on it. Mm-hmm. That's we right. We love to see that. So, of course, we need to tell you how to get that, and it's nerds.me slash apocalypse. Yes. That's what it is. That's what it is. And you know what else we've already talked about? And I didn't even, I didn't even consider that it might be on this list, but it's already been mentioned. But number three... <gasps> The number three best-selling title mm-hmm. in the board game category for last month was Unmatched Slings and Arrows, hey. which is the Shakespeare version of Unmatched. God, with, that cover is so beautiful. It's cool, and I love the creativity mm-hmm. of the Shakespeare character, of whatever it is, of playing your cards in iambic pentameter to get like a boost. Are you well, aware of this? I- I thought it was just a card okay. that said iambic pentameter. I didn't know you play your cards in iambic pentameter. That's uh, amazing. Well, I mean, it's, it's something like that. That's it's really cool. It's some very thematic way of executing, which for those that didn't have to take theater, that weren't theater majors like we were, I'm, I'm, iambic pentameter is the, the what the do you meter. call it? The meter, there you go, of how Shakespeare wrote plays. Mm-hmm. And so there's a very, 
you may not realize it because I didn't until I was told. There's a very, you know, steady rhythm of the way he wrote mm -hmm. words. Yeah. So. Da dum da dum da dum da dum da dum. Yeah. That's how each line went, and I just I really like though that it's allowing Shakespeare to interact with his characters that he wrote. Yeah. Which is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Instead, he is a playable character in this game. That's really neat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I I I may have to get that one. Okay. I won't hold it against you. Not this one as long. Thank you for talking to me about it ahead of time. You're welcome. Uh, and he's going to be checking that out at nerds.me slash slings. There it is. Slings. We got both ends. Two more board games to talk about. Okay. All right. Let's finish this up. Um, I'll t you take this one. Ooh, this is exciting. Yeah. This is Gloomhaven Buttons and Bugs. I don't know about this. So imagine Gloomhaven, right? Yeah, you get, you got, I, I, I can see it very you got vividly. This, right? Yes. Now imagine. What? You can hold it like this. Ain't no way. There is way. Okay. And that is buttons and bugs. Literally, I've held it because I was saw it at Gamma. It literally is like this big. What? It's I mean, it's almost like a double wide stick of butter. What? It's like how big. <laughs> Maybe even smaller <laughs> than that. I, I don't know what, what other. <laughs> like it's 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 less wide than my phone is. Is how small it is. Okay. Um, and it's a solo game. Oh my gosh. And it's like I think it's got twenty missions you play through. Um, one of the designers is Nikki Valens, who designed things like Mansions of Madness. I love that. Um, Arkham Horror Third Edition, Ooh, Quirky Circuits. Mm -hmm. um, and so I'm excited about this. We played Jaws of the Lions. That was great. Mm -hmm. But this is just like, I can hold it in my hand. Yes. Uh, yeah, I like this. <laughs> and uh, it's an amazing, tiny, epic Gloomhaven. Yeah, ex <laughs> basically. Um, and it's you know 20 bucks for the price point on that. I think right now it's currently out of stock, but... You can, you know, even though it's a campaign, you can play through them again, you know, do do better, whatever. So if you go to nerds.me slash button bugs, nice, <laughs> nerds.me slash button bugs, you can set a restock notification uh, for whenever we get more of those available for pre-order. Um, but this is another one. I might have to like find a, oh, this month I'm not going to go to Whataburger to buy this kind of thing. Maybe. Maybe. That's All right. pretty fun. All right. I think it's pretty well anticipated. We all know. The answer to this one, number well, one. Wait, 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 before you announce it. Okay. Do we have any guesses in chat? Do you guys have any guesses what you think the best-selling oh. board game title is for the month? We've already had somebody call it March. back when we were at, like, number 15. Did they? Yes. All right, what do you think? Worm Up Higher. I don't know that game. Uh, dragons. We have Dragons as a guess. We have Worm, worm Span as a guess. <laughs> Parker, Parker, did you spoil it? He did. He went through all of the graphics. No, the, gra the, the thing is like shot from the back. Oh. oh okay. Well, okay. anyway. <laughs> but yeah, you guys did a great job not, not spoiling it for, for both of us. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are here. Nar Span. <laughs> I like that I guess. Yes. All right. Well, we are here at number one, and the number one bestseller for the month of March was Worm Span. Wormspan. Shocker. Is it? Oh, look. Hey. Oh, yeah. It's it's on our green screen. I, I'm always backwards. There, there it is. Go. Yeah. Wormspan. <laughs> um, there's an unboxing. If you want to see what's inside that, you can go to our YouTube channel. You can see an unboxing of Wormspan. Hashtag don't eat the eggs. Don't eat the eggs. Mm -hmm. But yeah, Wormspan. Um, you can go to nerds.me slash Wormspan to get your copy. And again, for any of the games on this list that you're excited about or interested in, and if it happens to be out of stock at the moment that you're watching this, you can always set a restock notification, and um, that way you can be notified when we have more of that coming. Exactly. So cool. Great board game list. Woo! That's awesome. All yes. right. And so now... Before you do it, because I don't know why it did that. Mm -hmm. All right. Parker's going to double check the uh, forwarding mechanism. Okay, mm -hmm. while he does that, we've got some comments here we could... Maybe talk to. Is that okay with you? Is yes. That said that we yeah. were in harmony when we said Worms Fan. Wow. Well, we are musical we have, people. We have experience in musical mm -hmm. theaters, I guess. I, I say. just sing, and she happens to might, because I don't try. She does try and does oh. great. Um, I try. Um, Lord of Cardboard, no, it's not a green screen. That's the joke. It's just a running it's joke. It's a running joke. It's, it's, it's not. It's, it's real. See, I got, got the Worms Fan here. <laughs> it's real. Yes, 
it was con- let's see my blue heather says uh for worm span it was convenient it came out around easter so i could sub in cadbury mini eggs for the eggs nice, nice. that is great makes it a little it's mm. a cardboard screen according to joey does thank you joey <laughs> 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 Oh, okay. Yeah, John Tripp says that was some good CGI. We're good? All right. Thank you, John. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. How how did they put that copy of Wormspan into his hand in post so well? That's fun. <laughs> this is in post right yeah. now. We're, we're not live we're in anymore. Post. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> sure. And a reminder, um, can we right now, before we move on to the next category, can we see what the status of the giveaway is? I like remember, your strategy, you can Andy win Brady. a copy of one of these best sellers, which is the White Castle, by typing in exclamation castle in the chat. There are 85 entries into the draw right now. If you want to win, remember, this is for U.S. residents, and there's no purchase necessary unless you're paying for, like, your internet or something, so you can be on here Jump to... Jump on it. You know, but, I mean, I guess you could still, like, not... Yeah, you, you could be at... Sure, you could be at Starbucks, you could be at the library, you know, wherever. There you go. All right. Um, Why don't we move on? So let's go on to the next category of bestsellers for the month of March, and that is TCGs, which, did you know, stands for Trading Card Games. Wow. The more you know. Is half the battle. I don't think that's how it goes. (laughs) Close it up. Cool. Well, at number five, Mm -hmm. um, it's Yu-Gi-Oh! The 25th Anniversary Rarity Collection. Dose. Number two. Booster box versus... I love the title. Man. It's <laughs> yeah, a it's great a catchy title. title just rolled off the tongue. <laughs> All right, but yeah, so <laughs> this is a pre-order. Uh, not quite out yet, but they did a collection one yeah. and did really well. And they're like, hey, let's do another one because that did so well. Mm-hmm. So here we are. Any Yu-Gi-Oh players? Are you watching now and you're a Yu-Gi-Oh player? Let us know. We like to know who consumes what content and what you're interested in just just because we'd like to know who our viewers are Mm -hmm. and Uh, you can pick up your copy of this at nerds.me slash rarity there you go did you know there's a my little pony named rarity i didn't know that but i did know that nerds.me slash rarity is much better than going to nerds.me slash Yu-Gi-Oh 25th anniversary rarity collection to booster box first edition that's much easier to type Mm. in yeah let's go on to number four (laughs) Number four, maybe you guessed. Um, there are some guesses, but almost correct. But number four is Disney Lorcana TCG Ursula's Return Ooh. booster box. This is the next set for Lorcana. This gate, this set looks cool. You know, it, of course, Ursula's back. She's returned because that's the name of the title. From the depths. Yeah, and you can like fight against her now with the special. Um, yeah, there are locations Card. and stuff. Locations you go to. And, and so, yeah, this is going to be a cool set. I'm excited to open this one. And if you want to get your Ursula's Return, which is at a really great price right now, yeah, you can do that at nerds.me slash Ursula. Great. Well, number three, I think this is no surprise. Maybe a little tiny surprise that it's not higher on the list. Uh, but this is Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, the Twilight Masquerade booster box. Yeah. And... You know, you say you might, you're surprised it's not higher on the list. And that's just because there are so many new games that are super duper duper crazy hot. Like, that's just a testament to how hot those are that they're able to dethrone Pokemon, which for the longest time has been even like even Pokemon and Magic the Gathering, you know, they've been the, the big ones. And now these new games are like really driving up that hype. I know. Yeah, it's it's surprising with how much of, like, we just had Temporal Forces come out, mm-hmm. and now we've got uh, this new Scarlet and Violet coming. Like, that's... Um, I, I figured it would be a little bit higher, but yep. hey, it's still in the top three, sure. so, I mean, it's it's nothing to shrug at. I mean, don't Let's do it. Don't do it. See what <laughs> You get your copy at nerds.me slash twilight. There you go. All right. Let's go on to number two. Speaking of, this is a newer, it's not the newest, but it's a newer game. Mm -hmm. Number two is One Piece, Wings of the Captain, Booster Box, OP, 06. Well, OP, it stands for One Piece. Yes. I am a little surprised to see One Piece up here. I mean, I do know... um, one Piece is, is pretty popular, but it mm-hmm. hasn't been like at, in that big top category as much as some of the others, For as far as I know. I mean, I'm no expert on this. You want to know why? Why? Because they didn't make enough of it. Oh. <laughs> no shade. Yeah, yeah. I'm just, that's the facts. You know, the demand has been there. 
pretty much the whole time, mm -hmm. at least that I've been aware of it. And it's just, you can't, you, you can't sell what you don't have. True. And, but yeah, I mean, so we, now this is reflecting them going, Oh, mm -hmm. you mean you want this many? Yeah. And, yeah. Okay. Pretty much. Pretty much. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is the pre-order for this item and, um, not quite out released yet, but you can learn more about this item and get your pre-order in at nerds.me slash OP6. OP6. I bet you didn't guess that was going to be the link. <laughs> I didn't guess. Um, and number one, can we get a drum roll? It's Star Wars Unlimited. This is the Spark of Rebellion booster box. Spark of Rebellion. There it is. For a while, I was calling it Sparks, but there's just one. It's just the one it's just spark. One spark yeah. That's all it's needed because it's so defiant. Mm -hmm. Just that one spark is going to spark the whole rebellion. There you go. Yes. But yeah, this one, like <laughs> by by far, by mm. far, this was number one. Yep. Was not even close. And I believe, I believe that I called this last month. I said, "Hey, Star Wars Limited is going to be number one." Hmm, let's give a moment here to see if there's a flashback. And there it is. You did All it. Right. You did say it. So <laughs> maybe <laughs> right now, I believe the quantity of these are gone. Like, I don't know about getting more of these because, again, as one of those, it's a it's, new game. It's so new. They right. still, you know, they're trying to adjust those I mean, print runs. Yeah, they did a good job, I think, initially having what they needed. Um, but, you know, who knows? You never know where the hype is going to go with these. So, right, exactly. So, but you can go to nerds.me slash SWU and set a restart notification. Swoo. Swoo. Um, also, again, anything else like One Piece or any of these, uh, I think we still have uh, Lord Kana, but yes. again, you please set restock notifications for all of these if you happen to go and they're out of stock. That way you know as soon as we get some in, that way you can go get your orders in. All right. Uh, two more categories for this video. We've got RPGs now. Hey. All right. So Giving the RPGs time, some love. Yeah. Um, this time we're doing like individual items, kind of like we did board games. You know, last time I did, we did like systems, but this time we're going to show you what are the actual best-selling RPG items. Okay. Um, so I'll start with number five. I'll let you start with number five. All right. Number five is Pathfinder RPG Second edition Monster Core. Ooh. That's what I've got. This is a Monster Core. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. Um, so I have a question. Yes. Uh, does anybody know? Does Pathfinder, I know that like some of the Dungeons and Dragons books like this, they do really mm. cool alternate covers mm -hmm. on them. Does Pathfinder do that very often? I don't know. I will say that later on on this list, we have one title that we combined the alternate cover with the regular cover oh, to, mm. I don't believe this one, this Monster Core, okay. had an alternate cover. I'm sure everybody does it, right? Okay, cool. Some board games have alternate covers. I have alternate covers sometimes. Anyway, right. if you want to <laughs> learn more about this item, you can go to nerds.me slash Monster Core. There we go. go. <laughs> we did at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, number four is Dungeons and Dragons Fifth Edition mm -hmm. RPG, the Deck of Many Things. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I think this is so cool. I love the artwork on this box, first mm -hmm. of all, and this is uh, our this one that we're highlighting on number four is the alternate cover. I love this. It looks so cool. It's it looks like just a great conversation piece mm -hmm. it to looks, have yeah. sitting out. Of course, and it's a Deck of Many Things. Yeah. So I'm if I'm not mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong, um, this is a book that explains in detail each of those cards that are in the deck of many things. So it's not a deck itself? I don't think so. This mm, is to like mm. explain what those are because you get them at random. I see. Um, and well, they can do, do some this. really horrible things to you. <laughs> Look how pretty that is. Within this box, you'll find the book of many things, which illuminates the deck's mysteries. So yeah, you, mysteries. So yeah, you've got that on there. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I just think that would be fun just to read through mm -hmm. because yeah. it's just such a wild car. I mean, and I mean, it's so crazy what these things can do to you of like just an insta kill thing mm -hmm. or like turning you inside out. I don't know. It, they can do weird things. Yeah. And I just think it'd be fun to just, just read through it. there. Yeah. <laughs> it's fun. 
I might have to borrow it from somebody. <laughs> um, so yeah, that one's uh, number four, the Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition, the Deck of Many Things alternate cover, and you can get yours at nerds.me slash many things. Many things. Yes. These are a few of my many things. Cute. So speaking of reading, if you just want some D&D content just to read, you can check out number three, which is the making of original Dungeons and Dragons from the years 1970 to 1977. Interesting. And this is an early bird pre-order, another early bird pre-order for the month of March. And um, here, it's just a history. This is the 50th year, the 50th anniversary of Dungeons and Dragons. Mm -hmm. And so this is a book that will explain the making maybe of it. Maybe kind of like a, a, a designer's diary a little bit -ish. Yeah, maybe. Now, this is not a fictional book, right? No, this is like story. Gary yeah. Gygax making the game. Yeah, history of him, because he's not... Anyway, you get the idea. He's he, history. He, mm, Yeah, <laughs> I mean, everything we do is history, technically. Maybe. That was history. Let's move on. Nerds.me slash DND50 okay. is where you can go to check that out. DND50. DND50. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, number two... I'm glad to see it. We've yeah. got some serious dice. D&D Acerarax Treasure. Mm -hmm. That's how you say that. I bet it is. I bet I nailed it. Uh, treasure pack dice sets. Yeah. I love custom dice. This is awesome. Don't we all? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it's a cool set of dice for D&D. &D. And uh, we normally will see books up here, but it's cool to see a set of dice on I, this I bestsellers list. And it's, I mean, it's number two. Yeah. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. There's only one thing better than that. And that is? That's number one. <laughs> but before we get there, you can get this, or you can check out this item at nerds.me slash treasure pack. Right. All right, but yeah, number one. Um, I think I did number one. No, you did number one last time. I'll do number one. Okay. Uh, this is another D&D &D item. This is Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition RPG Vecna eve of ruin and this is the way i was talking about the combination of the alternate cover and regular cover uh, same content but just different cover which i love that cover mm -hmm. so which one is that do is, we know is, is this that's the, alt. that's the alt okay it's nice does he have a ring on it does vecna have a ring on it i don't think so do they have a ring on it it looks like it's just a jewel like mm -hmm. in the hand yeah yeah so that's the number one uh there's early bird pre-order for that right now and that is um you can check that out and get your copy at nerds.me slash Vecna. Man, D&D, &D, 50 Rash. years later, and it's still Rash. dominating our top five mm. it's because of, of RPG it's sales. Like only that's, because of Stranger Things. Do you think, like, what's going on in Stranger Things, is it really just all a giant game of D&D? Because they the just theory. faced Vecna? That's the fan theory. I've heard. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, let's move on to our final category of bestsellers, and that is minis, the category of miniatures. <laughs> Why'd you say it like Miniatures. That? I don't know. <laughs> miniatures. And this is, this is a, I would say this is an interesting list, to say the least. Oh. So, I'll kick things off with number five Kay. of the top-selling miniature items, and that is Star Wars Shatterpoint Clone Force 99 Squad Pack. Mm -hmm. Another pre-order item, and this is more uh, miniatures to add to your game of Shatterpoint. You can create your squads with different characters. Of course, you take them, assemble them, paint them, make them look great, and then have your Shatterpoint battles. Fun. Um, so yeah, that one is at nerds.me slash clone 99. But then following that up, or not following up, I guess kind of technically preceding it at number four, We've got some more Star Wars Shatterpoint. Mm -hmm. We do. This is the Certified Guild Squad Pack. Yeah. Um, more Shatterpoint. And look, who's that on the box? That's, that's, that's Din. You mean the Mandalorian? Or Din? I think it's the Mandalorian. And he's got the little Grogu, Grogu too. You mean Baby Yoda? Yeah, I mean, whatever floats <laughs> your boat. <laughs> I'm just going to do it to annoy everyone okay. out there. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, just more Star Wars Shadow Point. You can get that at nerds.me slash squad. Another pre order, early bird pre order there. This is the way. Good. Right? Yeah. All right. Um, all right. We're more than halfway done. Not yet. Almost. <laughs> Since this is a list of five. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Uh, so number three, we're moving on from that mm -hmm. Star Wars Shadow Point. We're moving into Hero Scape. Wow. 
Now, wow. now, who would have known we would be coming back to Heroes Escape mm -hmm. years and years later after it first came onto the scene? But it's so exciting to see it back, and here it is in our top five. Yeah. Well, of minis. This, this was an interesting one because there are a lot of people that remember it as a board game. Yeah. But you know, it really is a miniatures game, mm -hmm. and so we kind of like we're, we're talked about this about uh, like which category should fit in, but I think it probably falls. It could go in both, but I think for the sake of this list, we were going to go ahead and put it in the in the miniatures category. Right. right. So uh, this particular number three is the Hero Escape Battle for the Wellspring Battle Box. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and so this one is a pre-order. Yeah. Uh, you can get that at nerds.me slash wellspring. Mm -hmm. And I can't remember, are these pre-assembled? Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. yes, yeah, so they're pre-assembled, so that's mm -hmm. nice. Yep. I like to see that. And then number two is Hero Escape The Grove. At what? not Lara's edge, Lars edge. Lore, lore. Terrain expansion. So so far hey. we have a little a battle box, which is like a supplementary item. Mm -hmm. And we have terrain. Nice. We haven't seen the main set yet, like just the master set. Well, first, why don't you give them the link? Nerds.me slash lar. L -A -R. There we go. Hey, I've got a surprise for you. I love surprises. What you got? Number one. Mm -hmm. Heroescape Age of Annihilation Master Whoa. Set. What? Amazing. Heroescape, again, coming back and boom, already popular um, because of the nostalgia mm -hmm. and also people feeling like they missed out on that. Yes. Um, because it's been talked about yeah. ever since it went away and they stopped making it. Like, it's been one of those, it, it's definitely a FOMO element, yeah, I think. For on sure. That. For sure. Um, but if you want to get this set and the pre-order it and the other pre-orders for this particular set, it's nerds.me slash heroescape. Um, but of course we've got the other things as well, mm -hmm. as well, excuse me. <clears throat> so that was our list. That was the top sellers of March, 2024. And by the way, we are filming this live on camera. Yes. On live stream during our weekly live stream. So if you happen to be watching this, you want to experience the excitement in real time, and join in on the chat conversation that's happening about everything that we're talking about here. Don't miss out on our live streams every Thursday at 12 p.m. Central on YouTube and Twitch. Thanks for watching. And of course, for those watching live, that was so we can use this video later and, and invite them to join you guys in the chat. Have a great community uh, element going on here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, We love doing that. So I see a question real yes. quick. Uh, Pablo42 is asking, are they... They're unpainted though, right? I think you're asking about uh, Heroescape, maybe? Yes, they, uh, they, they are unpainted. They are unpainted, mm -hmm. yes. That's correct, yep. Mm -hmm. And make sure you've entered that giveaway for a copy of the White Castle. Type in exclamation castle yeah. for your chance to win. We'll be doing a drawing here in just a few minutes. Um, over, let's, let's talk about the list. Does anybody have any questions or observations about the list, predictions about what might you, what you might see next month? or next month when we talk about this I month. saw somebody thinking that Altered was going to be on that TCG list. Mm -hmm. So We do don't have that up for pre-order yet. Uh, it was supposed to have had Altered up. It's just a something that's currently out of our control mm -hmm. uh, that we're kind of waiting on before we can list it. But, you know, we've done, we're, we're just, we're going to get it up as soon as we can. But as soon as we do, I think Altered, yeah, we'll so definitely. So we'll be seeing that in April or May, mm -hmm. most likely, I would guess. So come back to check out see if we were right about that mm -hmm. great um oh let's see uh i just started watching fallout on prime and now i want to get a fallout game which one is the best which which one is the best the most like the series oh okay like um, the series mm. does anybody just off the top of their head has anybody played in the fallout board games i haven't i know that there's the you know i don't actually know who makes the mm -hmm. the version of the board game but I'd say that's the place to start. So there's Fallout the board game. Yeah, I mean, yeah. That's, we've got mm -hmm. that one right here. Fallout I think there's an the RPG game. that's either coming out or is already out, um, mm -hmm. but that's not a board game. So Yeah, the, the Fallout the board game is from Fantasy Flight, so it's going to, you know, they do a good job they with their license stuff. They have great production quality. Mm -hmm. And we do sell that one, at, and we have that in stock. There, we see the RPG. Mm -hmm. um, I know there are a couple other different... Fallout games that I don't know off the top of my head I haven't played, but mm -hmm. I think the board game would probably be yeah. the best place to yeah, start. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. 
Um, Denver is hoping that since I mentioned My Little Pony, that the deck building game will reach the top ten. I hope so too. Oh, <laughs> I did great. pack that the other day, actually. <laughs> so somebody's ordering it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> somebody, uh, Game Nerds, is saying that the Fallout RPG is good if you have a good DM for mm -hmm. that. So that's good. That nice. is cool. Um, mm -hmm. Good comment from Ichiban. D and D really dominating RPGs. Would love to see a different game take the top spot. Ichiban is not a fan of D and D. So Ichiban really wants you all to buy other things to dethrone D and D. Okay. Can we do that? Do it for Ichiban. Yeah. No, we don't have to. You don't have to dethrone <laughs> do that. It for it's going to be quite the battle to dethrone mm -hmm. the champ of uh, Dungeons and Dragons. That's true. That's true. But I mean, I bet we could but see yeah, some I think, stuff uh, yeah, up there. Yeah, absolutely. Um, any from Corey? Any idea when the Unfathomable ex expansion will be available for pre-order? Not currently. I only just heard about that just the other day. Remember Unfathomable? I, was, it sounds familiar. I'm that was the one it. that was like, it was based off of BSG, Battlestar Galactica. <gasps> yes! And we had that for a little bit. That was fun. A lot of fun. So yeah. say we all. There's a new expansion? Uh, yeah, it's uh, coming out soon. I mean, not soon. What is that adding? I don't know. Probably more characters and different, maybe like a... I hope it adds... A submarine or something. Like maybe some baddies that have different abilities. It was, yeah, those, those were pretty nice. generic. They're yeah, just they were damage extremely yeah. generic. But yeah. I also liked that for the streamlinization of the okay. game of like, you just move on to it. And oh, okay. Maybe they'll, maybe they'll introduce Edward James Olmos. <laughs> okay. I don't know. Who that is. Um, oh, you don't know who so Captain Adama is? No. Oh, you didn't watch That's Battlestar Galactica? That's from Galactic. Battlestar Galactica. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, wow. Um, wow. So wow. Pablo is saying, my board game group wants to dig into D&D, &D, but we don't know any DMs. You know you can hire a DM online. Hmm. You can. Uh, there are people wow. who kind of like professionally, uh, for a fee, will DM your your game for mm. you. That's you can cool. you can find it online. Um, so if anybody knows uh, the website for that or the link, please put that in the chat. We can help out Pablo mm. Forty Two find a find a DM for their group. That would be really cool. One more question. I think we're all waiting for the world's littlest yeah. skyscraper that, RPG. I was going to say that. I, I think we all are, too. I was gonna read that. We're going to uh, we're gonna have to get in touch with like an RPG developer. <laughs> just to make it happen. Okay. All right. Well, just a one shot. Let's go. Yeah, well, for a one shot. Yeah. Let's go ahead and draw a winner for okay. the White Castle. That way we can move on to this unboxing of Monster Hunter World. Oh, yeah. Joey's excited. All yeah. right. All right. Okay. So, uh, chat. Let's see some hyperoni and cheese. Who wants to win the White Castle board game Woo! from Devere? Yeah! All right, let's here we go. Let's go. Let's go. White Castle. White Castle. Let's <laughs> last, go. Last let's minute go. entry right there. So here we go. Three, two, Three, two one. one. Bring. Roy Higgins! Leroy Jenkins! <laughs> <laughs> nice, Roy Higgins. Let him know how to win. Roy to Higgins, you can claim your prize at mm, winner. <laughs> at GameNerds.com. Email. Send, it, send an email. To, to winner at GameNerds.com. How about that? <laughs> All those words. And yeah. we yeah. will hook you up with your prize. Congratulations, Roy. Congrats, congrats. Roy Higgins. Ooh. And um, I've been keeping my eye on the tally of likes. Where are we at at YouTube? Did we hit the 100 likes? Uh, oh. Uh, Did we hit? Let's see. I got it up right the here. Likes. Let's see. Because uh, we need 100 likes in order to give away a $50 Oops. gift card. Click that. 98. <gasps> 98. 98. Oh Two more. Oh, no, it's at 99 Let's right now. 99. 99. We have one right more now. like, and you've earned a $50 gift card to give away at the end of the stream. That is right. Um, so keep that up. I'm We're going to move on out. Joey, you want to move on in? To oh, uh, guess, one, it's at I, one oh, it's at one oh three now. So yeah. there you go. Should I say bye now? No. Oh, okay. I'm going to hang out in the. Oh, I'm, I have a, play, a game to play in a little bit. I'll be yeah. back in a little while, guys. Yeah. Have fun. All right, we'll cut to me, me while we get some setup going on over there. Joey's going to be setting up to do an unboxing of one of his most anticipated games of the year that we did, uh, I think, a, lo a long time ago at this point. But he's just been itching to get this box cracked open. Uh, he's a big Monster Hunter fan. So for those of you that enjoy Monster Hunter or maybe have been eyeing it, a little bit of skepticism's okay. Today, Joey's going to show you why you should take the leap into the world of monster hunter he's been trying to get me involved it sounds really cool i've kind of overlooked it but maybe today seeing some of these components i'm going to say you know what i want to i want to play the board game and i play the video game and now i want my own palico plushie in the back something uh over there is good everything's good over there probably 
Okay. All right. Good. Uh, <laughs> uh, so yeah. So they're gonna Spencer's gonna be setting up over there on the camera. A little bit of the behind the scenes things happening just right over there. Uh, but yeah, if you have any questions uh, about Monster Hunter, feel free to drop them as Joey's doing the unboxing. We'll get them all queued up, and then uh, whenever he's all done, we'll give him an opportunity to kind of dig a little bit deeper into some of the things that you may be interested in because he's going to kind of just roll it once he gets uh, cracking into this box. But uh, you can find all kinds of goodies of Monster Hunter assortments over at GameNerds.com, so hopefully you can check this all out when you're ready. All right, looks like Joey's good to go. I'm going to cut over to him, and here we go. I am ready. I am so excited. I have been waiting for this, as he said, uh, for so long. Um, I love Monster Hunter very much. I have a th thousands of hours uh, playing Monster Hunter World, and um, when I saw that this game existed, I wanted it so bad. So I've just been waiting for it like crazy. So who's ready? Who's excited about uh, opening this box? We're going to see what's inside. Ah. Okay. <laughs> well, we're going to do the, our formal intro and stuff like that. If you're just joining us, my name is Joey with Game Nerds, and today I'm going to be opening up the wonderful Monster Hunter World board game. This is the Ancient Forest version. There's two core sets that you can get. There's this one, and there's the Wild Spire Waste that has a different biome as well as different monsters to take on. And we're going to jump right into it. I, you have no idea. I've had this in my office for a couple of days, and it's been very hard not to just tear into it. So here we go. I put on my fanciest shirt for this one, for sure. We're going to slice it open. This is my personal copy, too. This is going straight home with me. Yeah. Yes. As you can see, look at that beautiful art. You've got the Rathalos on here. Um, and look at that, the beautiful Monster Hunter World style art. Um, that is the branding for, the, uh, for that game. And look, look at the, like the players. You've got your little kitty cats. Those are palicos to tell you how many players that you can play with. So you can play with up to four friends, but you can also play by yourself if you want, and you can just destroy some monsters. What's the object of this game? Well, I'm going to tell you. It's, it's to fight monsters. It's exactly what it sounds like. It's very simple. You fight the monsters. They drop loot, randomized loot. You can get more rare stuff. You can upgrade your gear. You can upgrade your weapons. And you fight bigger and better and scarier monsters. So without any further ado, I'm going to open this box. Uh, 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 uh. I thought you were talking. I thought you were talking about a board game based on a video game. It is a board game based on the video game. This is very tough to get over here. Let me go. And this is a big box. This is the deepest box of all time. Oh my goodness! And here we go. Right off the bat, I don't know. Okay, here we go. It's uh, a player player aid right here. It's for you to organize your storage tray. But it's got some beautiful art uh, of three hunters going after. A Rathalos right there. That's what that dragon is called. Look at that. So you can organize your storage tray. So when you get everything out and you mess it up, like I know I'm going to, I'm going to need this to uh, put it all back. All right. And you got some little divider here. Nothing crazy. And right off the bat, we've already got the insane minis in this set. So um, look at this. We got some wings right here. Look at the detail. That is unbelievable look at that detail every little wrinkle in the webbing of that wing that's awesome and we've got a few minis here a few monsters here we've got our anjanath this is a t-rex vulture like monster he's very scary shoots fire at you and he's very aggressive that's amazing this is huge this is a huge mini look at that oh my goodness Wow. All right. So next we have, this is the body of the Rathalos. This is probably going to be the strongest monster in this current set, but there are expansions where you can get more monsters and even crazier monsters, including, um, including uh, Elder Dragons, which are even crazier because Elder Dragon box is like this big. You know, maybe we'll have that in the future, but it's huge. Like they're massive. So the wings go on pretty well. Look, look, I don't need any, don't even need any glue or anything like that. 
and they go on, and they're just, this one won't go in just as easy. Oh, there it goes. Awesome. And we have this awesome Rathalos miniature. The detail is absolutely insane. And that is why I wanted to start learning about painting, because I knew I was going to get this game, and I wanted to learn how to paint it. Look at that. Might not be a very good job, but I'm going to do it. It's happening. It's going to happen. I'm doing it. We've got our beginner. He's kind of a beginner monster. That's the Jagras, the great Jagras. Kind of based on an iguana, and he can eat, and his belly gets really big, and it's really cute. And then you hit it with a hammer. <laughs> and then a Toby Kodachi. This is an electric snake squirrel thing. Awesome. Look at that stance. These are so good. I can't have enough of these. I want a whole bunch of them. Look at the crew. Just chilling right here. Look at the crew. Look at the crew. The whole crew. That's insane. You get to fight each and every one of these monsters. Obviously, you're going to fight this guy first, probably. He's going to be the easiest one to take down. You upgrade your gear. Then maybe you can fight this guy. Then maybe you can fight him. And then you move on to the Rathalos. And then, you know, that's why you get more expansions and stuff. Am I going to paint the minis? Absolutely. At some point, one day. Probably not on stream, but I'm going to do it. All right, let me move this out of the way here so we can get into the rest of the game. All right, we got our punch boards. Let's take a look at what we got here. I slice and I dice. It looks like these are maybe health dials, and I know that these are status effects because we've got poison, we've got dragon elements, Right there, water, fire, sleep. Look at that blast, electric, awesome. So obviously different kinds of monsters are gonna be weak and strong against certain things. That's what they got there. That's pretty cool. And I forget what these dials are for, but they're very pretty. I love that they went with like the entire branding of uh of monster hunter world because i think that it's just they really hit it out of the park with that and this is the game board whoa there's two sides so you can do different parts of uh the the uh <coughs> the uh ancient forest here so this is gonna have like a little river you've got your uh, waterfall right there um your monsters are going to be here, and you're going to be surrounding it to try to take it out. If you're a ranged character, you're going to be a little bit further, and we'll get into that very soon as well. Look at that. They're going to be walking around, being scary. Look at him. He takes up so much. <laughs> the wing fell off. Um, he takes up so much room there. Look at that. I think that's a thing, too. Like, mul like bigger monsters are just going to take up more spaces and command more of the board. And on the other side... Look at that. It's a more mossy area. You see uh, remnants of monsters gone by. You got a little cliffside here, so maybe you can jump off and do some cool attacks. And our rule book. So like I said, it's about fighting monsters. So the, the rule book doesn't need to be that insane. I mean, it's a nice thick rule book, but it doesn't need to be that crazy. It's probably going to tell you mostly about how you go after the monsters so you can target different parts so they can drop different kinds of loot for you and you can make gear out of that loot and uh, upgrade your gear, your weapons and your armor and stuff. So look at that full color rule book, very nice production value, pictures from all over the place. Oh, look at that. I love this. Look at the palicos hanging out, and they, sh they, they, they cook food for you, so you can go out and have all sorts of buffs for you, and uh, he's very serious about what he does. He's very serious about making poutine and, uh, and steak and chicken fried steak and stuff like that. <laughs> and this is your quest book, because one of the things that you're going to be able to do is go on quests. You need to take out specific monsters. Uh, you're going to have to attack certain parts. Uh, there's a very large variety, as you can tell, um, of things that you can do as far as uh, quests go. Look at that. That's a lot. So there's a lot to do, a lot of fun to be had. So even though it's simple, there's a lot of things that you can do to just really dive in and experience this world. Uh, I believe these are... Um, these, this is where you would put your characters, and I think you would have... Uh, like It shows like what gear you currently have on you uh, to take on some of the monsters. 
And of course, so since you have uh, a loot drop table and everything, and your character is going to change as you play, you've got your character sheets here, and you can keep notes about what your character has, and so much, and so far, and so on, and so forth. And these are monster cards that we got here. I don't need that Rondell knife. I got it myself. So we've got our monster cards here. As you can see, that is the great Jagras card. It shows where his weak spots are. It shows the kind of things that he's weak to or strong to. Uh, and it also has a drop table on the back. So these, this is the loot that he drops. So you can see what kind of stuff that you're going to make from him. Look at that. There's multiple different ones. I'm not sure why they have multiple ones, but I guess maybe you'll end up marking them up or something. I'm not really sure. Look at that. That's the Toby Kadachi. I love these like simplified, like ancient kind of artwork that they have for them for these monsters and stuff. And here we go. And here are your uh, character. Like this is, this is like the forge reference right here. So basically, that's how you'll, this is the loot that you'll need to do, to get to make certain kinds of armor and weapons and such. So this is for like a great sword. And then you can see all the different things that you can get. And to me, that's interesting where you're, you, they add that like random, like loot drop kind of thing uh, from the video game to a board game. And uh, I, I don't know how common that is, and maybe Spencer can correct me or something, but I don't know how common it is, but I think it's really cool that you have that like crazy random, like lucky drop kind of uh, like aspect to the game. I think that's really cool. It really, it's really within the spirit of Monster Hunter. And of course, you're going to need to have something to fight these, this monsters, these monsters with. So, We've got minis, and these each mini represents. Look at the detail. They have so much detail. Obviously, they they represent the different weapons that you're going to end up using and the gear. Ooh, 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 ooh. There we go. This guy's got the great sword. Look at the back. It's awesome. Huge. Monster Hunter is known for having these very over the top type weapons. This guy's got the dual blades. This one's got the sword and shield, classic sword and shield for fighting monsters and dragons. And the bow. So this is gonna be a ranged guy. So you want him to stay, you want them to stay like kind of far away from your monster so they can get some nice shots in and go pew, 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 pew. That's how it would go. <laughs> um, I think these are for the dials here, like the health dials and such. And then, you know what? It's been a while since we've seen this. No custom dice. Can you believe it? But I bet I could find some cool dice and make them custom, and it'll be great. Find some that like fit the color scheme and kind of go into that kind of thing, and that would be fun. That was a nice roll, honestly. That wasn't the worst roll ever, was it? <laughs> All right, let's see what we got in here. We've got lots of, lots of cards, lots and lots and lots of cards. Let's look at the weapons. So obviously you're gonna be able to upgrade and get this, get these new weapons. So you have cards representing your upgrades. Where's that Rondell knife? Here we go. There we go. Boom. Look at these cards. So you've got your great swords. This one is made from like a different monster like the loot from it and such you having trouble over there okay <laughs> sorry look at that look at that and they've got different stats and different attributes that you can use to most effectively fight your monsters look at these cards look at that blast and poison Got some dual blades here. So maybe these are attack cards. Maybe that's what these are. Oh yeah, there's so much to it. With the, it's one of those kinds of things where, and in, 
it's it, it's very much in the spirit of Monster Hunter. It can get very complicated. It can get very deep, but the surface of it is very easy, and that's what makes it so accessible, right? Is it's very easy to just jump jump into, get into. But when you really want to go deep and you really want to like like fight the really crazy, scary monsters, there's so much depth that you can go into uh, to achieve that goal. I don't want to cut up my cards here. I actually have to be careful with this. This is my actual copy. <laughs> I can't just mistreat it like all we like we do with all the other stuff. I can't just throw it around. I'm just kidding. I'm always careful. <laughs> These are armor cards. You can see what kind of gear that you can have. Look at that. Pretty cool. Look at that t-shirt. Some bone mail. It's a cool shirt. Oh, I love this helmet. That helmet is so cool. Love it. So obviously, these this armor is gonna look like the monsters that you um, that you defeat. Like this would be we saw the the great Jagoras, this guy right here, and you make a T-shirt out of him like this, and it has like you know his little tassels and things like that. That's really cool or really sad depending on who you are, I guess. <laughs> and then let's see. Oh, we got more cards here. Let's take a look. Let's get in there. That one had a little room for me to like slice it open there. Here we go. Now these look like, I believe these are the attack cards. That looks more like it. That looks more like it. And you can see the back, it has just the, the elemental symbols and weapon symbols and stuff like that. Lo I love the like branding and art that they have. It just, it goes, it goes, it covers all like aspects of how the game looks. And it's really, it brings it together to have like a really cohesive, um, like a uh, uh, production value, you know? We got some more weapons. We'll go through these fast here, but we got some more weapons. There's another buster sword here. I love the sword. The sword's really cool, but I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna admit it. I'm gonna confess right here. <sighs> I'm a hammer bro. Don't at me. I like to hit things with the hammer and break them and knock them out, and it's a lot of fun. That's my favorite weapon in the game. But I use several weapons in the game. That's here we go. These are those are obviously palico cards. Ooh, do we get Palico art, let's take a look. <gasps> we do, we do. So you do get a Palico, it looks like, in the game, which is awesome. So look at this. Look at that, they're so cute. They're wearing their little armor. Look at that one. So you get gear for them as well, and you could upgrade them to help you fight and to do things like maybe give you some health or something. Look at that, oh man, look at that one. He's got a little winter coat on, super cute. Look, that one has a skull head. I like that one. They're all awesome. There's really cool, unique designs for each kitty cat. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. We're almost down to the end here. Got a few more sets of cards. I think we're just going to go ahead and... This is like Bone Blade. So this must be like like when you choose like an upgrade path, um, there's going to be certain things that... Um, certain like... Li like paths of weapons so you can't go from like obviously uh, a buster so sword to a bone sword so this is going to be like the swords that you can make out of that this is going to be the swords that you can make out of bone and they're going to have like their own little attributes and things like that so that's probably why they're separated that way and then i believe these are monster attack cards yeah look at that you've got their symbols on the back You can see that, that's the Rathalos. That's a blue Rathalos, so there's gonna be variants of them as well. And that's probably how they, um, you know, make it to where you have more monsters without having to buy new monsters. There's variants in the video game, there's variants in here, so you can fight stronger versions of them and such. Um, but yeah, this is gonna be their, uh, their attack card. So you can see heavy bite, so, you know, monsters bite. They slam you with their head, they'll headbutt you, they'll belly roll. <laughs> They'll, those are awesome names. Uh, there's a backflip slam. 
So there's a ton of these uh, things that they're going to do. And this is going to how the monsters are going to engage with you. They're going to fight you. And that's it. That's everything that's in there. I'm excited. I've been dying to play this and see it. And I'm telling you right now, it is a it is surreal to finally get to bust this open and see it with my own eyes and hold these monsters in my own hand. It's very exciting. And that is uh, Monster Hunter World. And we did this live. Uh, if you enjoyed it, you know, come check out our streams. Uh, you might enjoy yourself. And thank you so much for watching. What do y'all think, chat? What do you think of this game? That looks pretty crazy, man. It's like <laughs> a monster hunter. It's a monster. These are cool. What was monsters. that? Some kind of monster that hunts? Or yeah. Are you the hunter that? This one's monsters? great. He's got like the little furry, like, like a poofy dinosaur. top. He's like a. Ti it's like a dinosaur mist with like a vulture, because he's got the like furry, like top thing. Uh, based, based on the time, I'm gonna yeah. switch over because uh, Laura has to leave in about 20 minutes. Ooh. So we have to get a gameplay we in with her. Get a game so you guys need to hurry up and clean, clean Joey. Yeah. Uh, and I'm gonna switch to me. While they clean, because who wants to see someone clean up a massive board game? That game looks pretty awesome. Uh, again, you can find that over at GameNerds.com. Just type in Monster Hunter, and you'll find all the goodies that you can go ahead. And you can actually get it over at nerds.me slash ancient. Oh, oh, yeah, nerds.me slash ancient. Sorry, excuse me. Yes, I forgot that I, <laughs> forgot that I even made that earlier. Nerds.me slash ancient if you're curious to pick up a copy of that for yourself. Uh, but while they're doing that, I'm going to give another recap at the start of the show. We did give a quick rundown of what the next segment is going to be, which is going to be April Insanity, where we go head to head and test our metal against one another uh, in the form of board games. So there we go. We're going to show you real quick what all that means. So for four weeks of April, we're going to be uh, going head to head, competing with one another on a randomized, who knows what we're going to play board board game uh, but what that looks like is I'm gonna pull up a graphic for everybody so you can actually see what I'm talking about this is what April insanity is about which we're about to kick off uh, so week one which was last week Spencer and myself went head-to-head -head. we played a game called Raptor I lost uh, spoiler alert and then Rosa and Joey played a game where uh, they break they were breakdancing meeples and that's a game that they played uh, and uh, Joey took the win on that one and then this week, which is now in week two, as you see, it's April 11th today, uh, and it is Joey versus myself and Lara and Spencer, who are actually currently setting up to play right now, which, uh, you know, if they're ready for it, we can go ahead. Oh, Spencer's still got some cord cordage. Uh, Spencer, do me a favor and do, uh, do something about your audio, uh, your, your mic cable it's buzzing. it's buzzing yeah you got a buzz i know because you, you dropped your mic earlier uh, we <laughs> uh so oh we do have a score uh, while he's doing that i do have a scoreboard here we go check this out here's the runnings total here so spencer on the left he beat me that's why there's a green underneath my name joey beat rosa that's where there's a green underneath his name etc we got a raid we're being raided oh hey welcome, welcome everybody raiders. This is, a, this is, my name's Parker. Welcome to Game Nerds uh, live stream. Here's uh, Spencer and Lara, who are about to kick off a very fun segment of playthrough on who knows what board game it is. I don't know. Am I, am I buzzing or am I good now? You're good now. We're good. All You're right. Good. You're good. Welcome, better. Raiders. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, we're excited because we're taking part in week two of April Insanity, as Parker said. Uh, it's our take on March Madness. Much better, I think. Um, mm -hmm. But Parker... Let us know, what game are we going to be playing today? Let's take a gander over at the Wheel of n Misfortune. I want to welcome... But um, it's games! Yeah, real quick, can we welcome a few more of oh. our Raiders? Welcome. Oh, what, oh, well, I'm you, sorry, you I know I just told you one this. way, and then you... I okay. did. Well, anyway. Welcome to Game Nerds live stream, folks. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Ruel, welcome. We've got Freddy, or Teddy, welcome. We've got uh, Amy is back in time for the insanity, so... Yes, yes, Welcome, yes, everybody. Yes. Thank you. All right, now All right, we will see. Now what we, we will see what game we're going <laughs> to play. We Thank you so much, Parker. Game we for, uh, play. Uh, for a quick recap, we've got Raptor, right. Kabuto Sumo, Unmatched, Parachute Panda, Last One Alive, et cetera, et cetera. You can see there. We'll shuffle this up a few times. The ones with an asterisk, we actually won't play this week because we played them last week. What we is it going to be? What's going to be? Let's go with Hive, 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 Hive. <gasps> yes, Hive, Hive. Yay! We're going to play Hive. So you guys are going to be playing Hive today. We're going to close this up. 
and yes, get yes. set up for we got it right high. Here. Five. Five. <laughs> it's upside uh, down. I saw a question. Do we get to predict who won? You can predict. Sure. Um, just do hashtag Team Spencer. That's how you do it. There you go. <laughs> hashtag Team Spencer, because Spencer's going to win. So during April Insanity, it's a series of everybody or two player games, and we're going to see at the end of all of the games who wins. Um, in this particular case, what is it? What Hive. Hive, we're playing Hive. I thought you were like, the pieces aren't in here. That scared uh, me. That I was trying sad. not to interrupt you while you were talking. Thank you. So in this particular instance, yes, Team Spencer or Team Laura, um, Team Spencer is probably the right answer, but I don't know. Have you played Hive? If, you've, if you're out there in the chat and you've played Hive, let me know what you think of it, because I love Hive. Me too. Can right, you, you give us a quick rundown of how you play while you set up? Yes. Okay. So in this game... We each have a team of bugs. Which which you want to be? Which pieces do you want to be? I'll be white. All right. And we have different kinds. We've got beetles. We've got um, ants. Oops, this is yours. What is this? A game for ants? We've got a grasshopper. <laughs> We've got ants. We've got spiders. Mm -hmm. And what are we Some trying to do? Beetles and our queen bee. Mm -hmm. So um, we're going to have all of these pieces kind of touching together and we're trying to move and surround the opposing queen yeah you want to the idea is to have your opponent's queen completely surrounded whether with your bugs or their bugs sometimes you can use their bugs to your advantage Ooh. um i've printed off these little cheat sheets about the special abilities because each bug moves a different way moves a different way it's kind of like chess mm -hmm. very cool so here's yours yeah um but what's gonna happen is on your turn you just put a bug down out of your pieces. And um, there's a little bit of a special way we start because once you start the game, you can only put a bug down where it can touch one of your own bugs. We are playing without expansions. Yes. We are playing the original game, the OG only. Okay. So real quick, let's do a rundown of what each bug does. Okay. Right? So the bee, the, the queen bee moves one space per turn. Okay, and can be placed at any time from your first to your fourth move. So we're going to do one through four, and uh, you'll be able to set where your B is. Once a player's queen is totally surrounded, they lose the game. Okay, mm -hmm. then we've got the B tool. Ha ha! The beetle. They move one space per turn. Can also climb on top of any adjacent pieces, uh, regardless of owner. And the piece of the beetle remains on top of is immobilized. So if I came and stood on top of your grasshopper, your grasshopper could not move. Mm hmm. Okay, um, we also have um, the grasshopper, which jumps over one or more pieces in a straight line to the first adjacent space on the opposite side of the final pieces. So, mm -hmm. okay, we don't have to demonstrate. We can just talk about it. All right, and go. <laughs> and then the spider, and oh yeah, the the grasshopper always jumps in the direction of one of its faces, never one of its corners. The spider moves exactly three spaces around the hive, must move in a direct path. And then the soldier ant can move around the edge of the hive, like the bee or spider, but as many spaces as it wants to. Okay? So I know that's a little bit of, of a quick rush there, but let's go ahead and play. You okay. ready to play? So the first couple of turns, you can put a bug down. Okay. And that's yours. This is mine. And so you can choose any bug to start with, but remember that within the first four turns, you have to place the bee or the queen. Okay. Okay? Do you want to go first? Um, sure. All right. So pick any bug. To start with. All right. She's going with the ant. Hmm. Interesting first move. I'm going to go with grasshopper. And so this is the only time that we can put a piece down to touch an opponent's piece. Okay. From now on, you have to put your piece down touching only your piece. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. That's good to know. You can always move it later. Okay. I see. I see what you're doing there. Well, I'm going to go here with this ant. I see some Team Spencers in there. The bee is out. The bee is out. And I was about to do that too, but I'm not. I'm going to wait. Is loose. I don't want you to. Um, I don't want you to uh, <laughs> think I'm copying you. So I'm putting the spider here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to move this just here. Thank you. Spider. Spider. All right. Coming out. And now I'm going to put my queen here. 
And so that's uh -huh. the first four moves. From now on, you can either put a new bug down or move an existing bug. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you needed to surround your opponent's... Opponent's queen, queen bee. bee. Yeah. Okay. Once an opponent's queen bee is surrounded, the game is over. One, two, three. three. I see. Spider, Spidey moves three. You can never move a bug so that it would create a break in the formation. Right. Just mm. another rule there. Mm -hmm. um, and also, see how this ant is surrounded? I cannot move the ant. Number one, it would break it, but also he can't slide out. He yeah. would be uh, surrounded in there. So I'm going to... Hmm, I'm going to put... I'm going to... I'm going to put this... I have an idea. I'm going to put this grasshopper right here. Okay. There's some strategy going there on here. There is some strategy. Now watch this. You ready? I want to see what happens. My grasshopper next. is going to hop. Okay. You know, hop. Whoa. Whoa. Like that. Oh, beetle oh. on top of the grasshopper. Trapped. That is trapped now. <laughs> mm. Okay. Right into her trap. Right. Was that a trap? I'm going to do this. Another hopper. Another hopper. Okay. Hmm. An ant. <laughs> eh? Hopper, no hops. This hopper is going to hop. Whew. Ha ha. Ha ha. Here comes the other beetle. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she's, she's thinking about it. Uh-oh. One, two, three. Spider. <laughs> I see. Hmm. My spider can start moving if I wanted to. But here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to... I'm going to start this ant right here. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm going to have my ant move. Remember, ant can move as many spaces as you want it to along the outside. So mm. I'm just going to come right here. Look at that. Your bee is halfway surrounded. Then again, so is mine. <laughs> yeah. Oof. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This now oh, I can't. Yeah. <laughs> now I can't. <laughs> should have moved mm. the spider when you had the chance. <laughs> I should have moved that spider when I had the chance. Spencer's in the tank. Denver B says, does it matter which way a bug faces? No, it does not. Mm -mm. It does not. Hmm. I see what you've done here. Hmm. See, I need... I can't do that because I'd be touching yours. So I'm going to put... Oh, here's what I'm going to do. One, two... I'm going to put this spider right here. That spider's cup. Illegal placement beetle. Why is the beetle illegal? On top of the spider? Can it not be? Yes, it can. Oh, well then. Illegal beetle. The beetle. Illegal. Mm -hmm. Illegal. I like playing live streams because there's always someone or a handful of people that knows. It start, did you start next to black? Better than us. Beetle? Yeah, the beetle started here. Oh, well, you can't tar start next to a black. You have to start next to your piece. Oh, okay. So you don't have to start there. Okay. okay, well, then in your move. So then it moved here. Yeah, just here. Okay. okay. All right, so that did give Spencer the opportunity then to, okay. to Which move his. That you moved there. So now I moved my spider, and now it's your turn. Which now it's legal. <laughs> <laughs> legal beetle. There you go. Okay. All right. Um, so now I can move my spider, though. One, two, three. Uh-oh. Two more, two more sides? Mm-hmm. Oh, no. Uh, crew style, not sure they understand it. You can, you know, trying to surround the bees. Yeah, you're trying to surround the bees, and each bug can move a different way. Yeah, different quantity of times, different mechanics of each bug. The queen can move. Mm-hmm. But it's like moving your your queen in right. chess, right? You're like, mm -hmm. oh, do I really so like? I couldn't move mine because then it would separate. Uh, or I could technically move hers. Yes. Until I get another piece over there. Um, but I couldn't right this turn block her. So I'm going to hmm. I'm going to put my beetle there. 
I see you're getting mm-hmm. out of there. <laughs> Clark P's, shouldn't she move her queen out of there? Immediately, <laughs> like, <laughs> just before she, yeah, yep, yep. Just, just thinking it. So I'm going to put this ant here. These are beautiful tiles, too. They're, yeah, they're really great. nice. Mm-hmm. Look at the geek. strategy. Yeah. <laughs> Laura's like so mm. silent. Okay, Ooh. sorry, the ant's moving. All right. So now that this is bridged, I can move my queen. My queen's going to go here. You know, you could have done that before. Yes. <laughs> well, no, because this was like this. I couldn't have moved it because oh. then it would have separated that spider. Okay. Now I can. You like that? There we go. <laughs> Something like that. Corthane, although admittedly, I am notorious for having a continually moving queen. <laughs> yeah, maybe there's some strategy there for sure. Yeah. Come and get me. <laughs> Try and find me. Try and find me. Put your queen next to their queen <laughs> and lock their queen with your queen. All right. <laughs> <laughs> You both, um, you, you just come into a draw. You <laughs> both lose. That's where my ant's going. Oh, defensive. Oof. Defensive ant. Hold on a minute. Let's. Oh, that's a weird uh, formation you got there. Yeah. Oh, goodness. Now my bee, my queen is really stuck. Yeah, you're locked. I am locked and locked. You got to move um, that. I'm not going to help. Sorry. I mean, I know, I know what I got to do. I can't, but I'm kind of stuck here. Not hey, the best. hey, hey, oh, if Lara wins, Lara wins. You know I'm what I'm saying? I'm going to move <laughs> my ant back s- somewhere. I'm going to move it here. Which way did nope. you Nope. Don't want to do that. I'm going to move it here. <laughs> Don't want to do that and then move I it. I did it anyway. <laughs> did it anyway. Yeah. yeah. She's still got two grasshoppers. Yeah, what do you have left, Spencer? I've just got, the beetle? I just have a beetle. Okay. Hmm. Oh, wow. She's bringing out the spider. Uh-oh. Can we have, like, a Bugs Life um, thing playing? Uh, yeah, I should have had a bug theme song playing. Yeah, dude, or a frog beat. I just thought of the uh, Toy Story music, but that's not it. I need to put... This is not going the way I want it to. <laughs> I can do... I can put some. I will put, see, I want, I can't put that there. I can't put that there. I'll put it, where should I put it? I'm going to move my ant again, <laughs> this wandering ant here to go. What is he doing? I don't, I don't know, know what he's doing. <laughs> yeah, what he's are you doing, Spencer? All right. Yeah, what All are right. you doing? I agree, Clark. This is a great game to play outside when it's windy. Oh, yeah. Hmm, quit moving your bee. Uh, let me move this camera just for <laughs> a little bit for you. You quit moving your bee. Oh, wait. Um, I just have a beetle. There I'm going to put go, this folks. beetle here. And the beetle's coming for you so you don't move anymore. But I'm not going to tell you my strategy. Joey made my joke in chat. He mm-hmm. must not have heard it. <laughs> I heard that, even though he typed it. I heard him say it. Oh. Oops. (laughs) (laughs) Whose turn is it? Good luck. Yeah, this is definitely one of the more cerebral, more than uh, rolling meeples to try to get them to stand up yeah there's some strategy <laughs> here wow you can make one wrong misplay and it's just game over it kind of looks like an anteater and well, this is the head <laughs> it looks like leg, one of those leg. monster hunters monsters yeah so this can go all the way around yes. to here mm-hmm. i mean no <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh-oh hmm. i believe this isn't going to be easy I really want my grasshopper to be free. I feel like I see a win stra- a win for who? Uh Lara's gonna win well, in, of course. In, in two moves. Two moves. Yeah, I see two moves. There. 
what you got to say to that. <laughs> I wish I knew what moves Parker was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I, I won't tell you. Ooh. Oh. Oh, so maybe it's three moves. I'm sorry. I forgot about that side. Yeah, it has mm -hmm. to go three. Yeah. This needs to stop. Um, I'm going to... You can't move your queen anymore. That's... Okay. Parker. <laughs> 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 I don't know. I, like, I played all my yeah, bugs he, out too early. He's just doing some goofy there's, stuff. There's, there's nothing I can do, I don't feel like. Yeah. Because Laura's on the, the track bugs of... that I... This are, is... Are essential. I can't move them. Here it comes. You better do something here, Spencer. Stop that. <laughs> do I? I wish I could, like. Do you concede? Probably. Eat, eat your spider. What? You think I can do something? No. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh. I'm not helping. I, I'm, honestly, I should be helping Laura because if mm. you win, Spencer, you're at four points, and I can't mm. have that. Um, I'm going. No. Was I? I was there, right? No, that's a move. Okay, I moved there. Oh. Oh, yeah. This mm, should. I'm going to move over here. <laughs> you did the there's, wrong there's, thing. What, what could well, I yep, have done? It's over. You could have moved that ant. No, All the way stuck. around. Oh. oh. That's yeah, what see, I had, there's nothing I could do. There it is. There it is. That folks. was it. I see Spencer's queen, which he is playing black, completely surrounded. Unless. What yeah, that counts. No, that counts. Oh, it does. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You yeah. get you can get surrounded by your. I own I didn't know team. if your beetle had to jump over one or something. You're no, boop, yeah, that yeah. like that. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. There you go. <laughs> yeah, well, that was it. You got well, uh, congratulations, Lara. Before you even won, it was one of those GGs before the game's over kind of situations. Aww. I'm, I'm a little, a little embarrassed. I still had a grasshopper was, left. I, oh wow! Just I, spare <laughs> components of the all, game. I was really excited to get my bugs out and um, was focused more on oh, the, the wow. bug. That was great of it than trying to win, um, which I thought was part of winning was getting excited. Congratulations! Was getting excited is part of winning. Congratulations on your win. Thank you. Yep, Lara's on the on the scoreboard with two points now. We'll get that oh. updated. Come and, and breed, Joey. Yeah. That was <laughs> Hive. I love this game. What do you think of this game, Parker? That game's actually really cool. I yeah. like strategy games like that. So. so there's three more bugs. There's an expansion you can get. Uh-huh, yeah. Uh, that gives you a mosquito, a ladybug, and a pill bug, or a roly-poly, awesome. is what a lot of people here in the South call pill bugs, roly polies. Roly -polies. Yeah. Doodle bugs. Do yeah. You ever no. call it a doodle bug? No, no. I called it a roly poly. You can carry it in this little bag. You oh, so it's a bag in a box. See, that's what I always get so confused. Mm. I, I get confusion <laughs> about the pocket version because I feel like it's well, the little, original like kind big. of. A they look like honeycombs. Oh, like honeycomb oh they're cereal. Really they're yeah. they smell like, like mm -hmm. honeycomb cereal. Yeah. If you're not on Twitch, man, <laughs> you you're know missing how out we on. love to liken yeah. uh, board game components to food. That's right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> well. Um, that puts me on the board. Yep. Match one of two today. Congratulations, Congratulations. to Laura. Um, and um, no, I believe it is time for you to say goodbye. Yeah. So Laura's got to head out. Not because you won. I'm not kicking you out because you won. But <laughs> Real quick, do we want to tell them what I'm doing for my birthday? You can. I want to know. Yeah. I get to meet the Dread Pirate Roberts. Who's that? Carrie that? Yules mm. from The Princess Bride. Yeah. Oh, I wow. get to meet him. Um, he's doing um, a screening of The Princess Bride um, and signing a copy of his, I think it's an autobiography, and a meet and greet. And so I get to do that on Sunday Shoot. for my birthday. We'll try to my share birthday's it. on Monday, but yeah. we're doing this because it's on Sunday. Happy so. early birthday. Yeah, happy early birthday. Yeah. And Thanks, uh, everybody. Great birthday present. It's if, we get, cool. if we get a picture, we'll share it. Oh, yeah, we'll share it. Oh, viewer submission. <laughs> send if it to we get a picture. Yeah. Laura, make sure you send it to marketing at gamenerds.com <laughs> so we can <laughs> feature your picture. <laughs> nice. <laughs> try to remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Well, 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 thanks for stopping by. Everyone Hashtag say bye, Team Laura. Laura. Thanks for the. Uh, oh, somebody says it's Elwes. I, I I always heard Carrie Yules. Anyway, um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, thanks for the early birthday wishes. Mm. Thanks for the hashtag Team Laura support. I appreciate it. We pulled You're one welcome. out today. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh -huh. All right, Laura. All right. We well, love a Cinderella story. So that's all I'm saying. Adios. All right. All right. Bye. Well, while she gets out of here, we've got some. Another game for everybody. And this is a one for the ages. Because it's Joey and Parker who never 
this, this is a very rare moment because we're never on <coughs> screen during a live stream before. It's almost been uh, forbidden to a sense because who knows what kind of shenanigans we'll get up to. Uh, but you'll you'll be you'll get to see now. So uh, Spencer's gonna come over here and start well, pushing all the buttons for us. Spin the wheel first, so oh, you want to spin the wheel first, oh, yeah. so we can see what we play. Yeah. Okay, I was gonna give you that luxury, but I was hey, cheering I for Laura, it. by the way. All right, let's get this wheel spun. <laughs> Oops. I have a chance to have a commanding lead. Yeah, well, a chance is a is a chance and not guaranteed. You have all a right. chance to be so far down on the line. Uh, yeah, if I lose this one, I'm, there's no coming back for me. <laughs> so here's the here's the wheel. Uh, let's go ahead and shuffle it a few times. Again, anything with an asterisk there, Ooh, we cannot play today because we've already played. Let's go. Let's see what we're playing today. Come on, Joey. What do you want to get What do we at? got? What do we got? No way. Let's go. Yes. Wait, what is it on? <laughs> what? How is that not boop? Kabuto Sumo, baby. <laughs> how is that? I'm down. All right. Kabuto Sumo it is. I don't remember how to play. I know we played a, a couple weeks ago, or you did. Um, and so, yeah, we're going to sit tight, get comfy. we got you one guys. more match. You want setting it up? Uh, yeah, if, actually, Spencer, if you could help set it up, mm -hmm. that way it would be... You got it. You know, we'll just fumble with mm -hmm. the pieces. and. I'll, yeah, I'll stand right here. Okay. Or sit right here. Yes. So if you're excited to see Kabuto Sumo get played this time, uh, last time that was played on stream was, again, a few weeks ago. Kabuto? Uh, Joey and Lara played, and Lara kind of... Kind of clean the floor with him so i'm hoping i have a little bit of that laura luck oh no today. now i know how to play yeah i know and he's he's played before he's gotten oh some, yeah some practice in so they're gonna set up i think we're missing game. a disc don't tell are we don't really say, we might have to spin missing. again if we're missing a disc, three discs right here there should be um three for each player <laughs> oh this um, is three no i'm sorry these are the this is spencer's personal copy yeah. so you know sometimes he loses his components uh but thank you to everyone that's just joining or has stuck well, around to the, the stream disc. You guys are the best. We gr greatly appreciate all of you. And again, if you want to support the stream and support us directly, you can follow us on Twitch, subscribe to us on YouTube. One. And uh, there's also, uh, you can become a YouTube member by uh, going to nerds.me slash YT. And you can check out all of the awesome perks that we have there for 99 cents. You can join up to become a member, get access to emotes. We're working on some future plans to kind of help spice that up as well. And then over on Twitch, you can sub. How many of those One, month. two, three. I'm going to turn them down. 4.99 a month over there on Twitch access to all the emotes and all that good stuff. Um, yeah, so, you know, keep uh, keep on supporting us because we'll, you know, we're just going to keep coming on here every Thursday anyway. So, you know, why not help us make it a little spicier week by week. So uh, this is, uh, again, round two going into April Insanity. Round two, week two. Let's hope for a win for me. I'm really needing it. Rose is sitting this one on the bench this week. She's going to be back next week with, I think, two. Two games? I, I'll have to look at the schedule again. Uh, actually, why don't we look at that so what you can... That? Yeah, I'm going to look at it right now. Let's take a look at the... Oh, starting board. That sounds good. Let's take a look at the dates here. Again, for those of you that want to prepare for next week and the week after. So this is uh, week two. So Rosa is going to play... Oh, so yeah, starting next week, we'll have three games per stream. Ooh. That helps us just squeeze in all, the, all of the games in a month. Because if there is a tiebreaker, if for some reason one of us goes undefeated and the other goes undefeated there will have to be a tiebreaker and we'll do that on may 2nd uh, we've got an amazing trophy as well which we'll show off again here in a moment that we've printed using a 3d printer it's incredible it's a one of one custom job uh, rosa painted it for us it looks fantastic so that's what you have to look forward to at the for april and sandy during the rest of this month of april are you all ready Okay. We need this. I'm going to switch over to them. You know, I was just, okay. Uh, weren't you going to show, you you show the standings, right? Or whatever you were showing. Yeah, right? here yeah, yeah, I showed the dates coming up. And now we're going to go ahead and look over and see what Joey and Spencer are getting up to. It looks like they're setting up the Kabuto Sumo, which is going to be the game for us, myself and remember Joey. Remember time I unboxed Monster Hunter? That was so fun. There's Kabuto Sumo I'm getting still thinking fondly set up. Okay, and we're gonna put these here. And so, if you've never seen Kabuto Sumo, it's like a little wrestl bug wrestling game. There's yeah. two bug games. How did that happen? Well, we got two a bugs. Bug games. There's a bug in this game. Hey, it's not here. National Bug Day. It's National Board Game Day. That is true. Is we found that out too late that it was National Board. We did choose our wrestlers. We did a bunch of board games. We did play. One, two, three, four. I think that's good. Okay. Um, um, Parker. Yes. I'm gonna make you the yellow bug. Okay. So that's that's, that's okay. totally fine. Yeah. All right. Inventory, you've got 
Here, I'll take Spencer's these. kind of the resident rules guy. He knows all these games. He's been playing these games longer than us, so. This is what you start with. Slow down, uh, Turbo. You got this here. <laughs> Slow down here, Turbo. He's like, put these here. <laughs> We're not in a rush. I'm just getting everybody going here. <laughs> hey, um, this just in. Games take a moment to set up. There you go. <laughs> Breaking news. Da -da 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 yeah, did you explain how the little chart, like the little winning chart works? Uh, briefly, yeah. So I, can, I, can I can help. I can explain what yeah, it looks you like. Go, you want to look at, so the, here's the, now that's out of date, now that Laura's on the it's, board. It is out of date, but, but I'll, I will update it. Here's what it looks like uh, from, from week last one. Week. Yeah. So uh, if it's green, like if you have a green dot on the match, the person in the left column won that match. If you have a red, if, if there's a red dot, the person on the top column uh, row won that match. And if there's a D, then that means there's a draw in that match. And then at the end, it shows who has, it shows the current point standings. Yeah, so so right now, Laura's actually got two and uh, Spencer and I also have two. Are you yep. guys need to pick your wrestlers. Yeah. Do you want to look through the cards here? Yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah. when I sit Are over there. Are y'all doing the special abilities? When I sit down, I'm going to come back. Right. Well, then I'll move here. Yeah. And then you come pick. And you I'll can teach you. us from okay. over there. I'll right. guide you. All right, here I come. We get to pick our wrestlers. We left some for y'all, and it wasn't eaten. My phone is there. All right. I'm ready. All right, we got our wrestlers here. All right. Who do you want to be? Uh, you do you want to pick first? I'll let you. How about you pick first? Let me get this a little bit situated here. So since you are, since you have zero points, remember? I do. Uh, it, I will what are all these pieces first. over here? It depends on what bug you pick. Some of them oh, you okay. won't even use. Yeah. Okay. Know. So we've got a few. Um, ooh. Uh, you know what? I think I'm gonna go. I I saw one that I'm eyeing right now. Ooh, you're gonna carry carry that around? Yep, I've picked one. <laughs> you the dung beetle? Yep. He got the, you want me to show you? Yep. All right. He's so carrying his going April Insanity score around. You're already there. Yeah. Yep. And so, so I've picked Sisyphus. All right. And All it'll right. tell you which pieces to get as your starting pieces. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Is it? You're gonna start with. I think I've already got them out there for you. Two of the small discs and one medium disc. So the two green and one one little light brown. That? And then you also get the big old poo ball. This? Yeah. Poo. <laughs> I mean, it is a dung. Yeah, it is so. a dung. Yeah. Okay. And he's got an ability that says stack two of your greens and add one of these to my inventory. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Roly Poly says stack two of these and add this to my inventory. Yeah. So in order to be able to do that, you'd have to get some of those tan ones into your inventory. Right, so it's kind of a sequence of this. I get another one, I can stack them, and then mm -hmm. I get access to this. Correct. Got you. All right, I picked. You ready for this? Yeah, who'd you get? I picked Cactus Jacked. Wait, nice. did, you, did you play him last time? I did not play oh, him okay. last time. I was going to, and you know what? Well, you picked Maybe Rick Flair last bad. time. I picked Ric Flair, yeah, <laughs> the nature bug, Ric Flair. Um, yeah, so do I talk about his ability? Sure, yeah, tell us what, right. he's, what does he do. So he's got an ability called Feigning Death. At the beginning of your turn, if your wrestler is touching the board edge, Add one disc, the brown disc, mm -hmm. to the, I guess that's a cactus. Can I get the cactus over there? Mm -hmm. uh, which one? Right oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Uh, to your inventory. Nice. Okay, so I get extras. And then bang, bang, pay one brown disc at the end of your turn. Push any additional piece. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That is really good. That's All right. really good. So Guys, I'm yellow. Yes. You are yellow. You're purple. So and what I'm you're purple. trying to do is you will take turns pushing your pieces onto the board. I'm gonna switch to that to show everybody. Okay. And hmm. you push it straight in, so you'll use that little slider, mm -hmm. put it mine? wherever you want, and you put- Oh, it's the yeah. same one. Mm -hmm. You put your um, little piece, whatever you end up using, and you push it in a straight line until it crosses the edge of the table. And anything that falls off, any pieces that fall off, go into your inventory for you to use on a future turn. Got it. Um, to win, you either have to knock your opponent's bug off the ring or have it to where your opponent has no pieces left in their inventory at the beginning of their turn. Ooh. Ooh. So Does when we push sense? them off, whatever falls off, we pick up, right? Correct. Gotcha. All right. So we can okay. move these aside. 
Yeah, what are these? They're little wrestlers with their thongs on. Oh, those are the those other. Those are just to remind yeah. you um, which pieces, who, who's, who has which piece. Oh, I'm yellow. Yeah. Cardboard ones. I'm yeah. yellow. You're, mm -hmm. you're yeah, we're yeah. good. Yeah. Okay. All right, are you all ready to get started? Okay. Let's try it out. Okay. All right, Parker's lost, so uh, he, he's already lost the game, so he goes first. Okay, sure. I don't make the rules. Uh, so I don't have access to this Not currently. Yet. So, Correct. but But it's, it'll be handy in, nearby. So Correct. I can pick either of these to start pushing. Mm-hmm. Um, I and remember, you can move that little platform yeah. any way you want. Yeah. And then yeah. whatever direction you push it in, you have to push it that direction. You Directly curve. straight, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Um, I'm going to go here. And I'm going to start with uh, Big Boss. So I'm going to go... Actually, I'm going to line it up just so that I'm in that wedge there. Oh, oh okay. you got one. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Nice turn. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready, dude? Here we yeah, go. yeah, yeah. I'm just in it for the games, man. Get ready for this. Look out. Look out. Oh, no. It's okay. Oh, that one's cool. Those are like barely on the edge. What is there a ruling for that that says they've fallen if they're no. on the edge? Or just Either fall? they fall or they don't. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. All right. Um, let's see. Stack two of my things. What does that mean? Stack two of them here? Yeah, so you're basically you're pushing two at this at at the same time, which is a risk, because if you push mm. two and nothing happens... It says happens, the brown ones, though, right? You can't do the green ones. Well, it says stack two of my greens, and oh, I can I add see. a brown to my inventory. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, so I will go ahead and do that. Do so that. you grab a brown from there? Well, I'm going to stack them and push them on. Oh, I and get then it, because a dumb beetle. Yes. Yes, because I need browns in order to get access to this. I see. Wow. All right, so I got couple pieces and I add a brown to <laughs> what does uh, the brown represent is it the small brown or the it's big brown rock. <laughs> not the, the small one yeah <laughs> wait why is it shaped like this are they all kind of oval they're not perfectly circled yeah that's right okay cool okay all right Joey it's all right here we, here we go here we go here we go Parker or team Joey yeah let's hear it I'm gonna go for team Parker on this one why don't put your money in it <laughs> let's see here we go you know what I don't Let's go. Whoa. Whoa, how, whoa, 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 you whoa, went so way too way far. Did I go too far? You went way too You're far. You're supposed to, to stop bad. here. My bad. So everything moved that much, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> which means something fell that shouldn't have. Put one of those I think it back. fell before that. One of them? Just one, because you just got to be penalized some way for breaking the rule. You're right. I messed up. My, my bad. How do I do it? How about um, I get to pick where it goes? Okay, that's fine. Oops. Wow. Hmm. It's just so fun to push it. I'm going to put it right here. Right on my booty? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, I'm going to stack these. And get oh, another brown? Go. That's good. That's, Biz like, Pat real good. It's like playing Kabuto Sumo with my four-year-old. <laughs> Where they're just like, yay! <laughs> I d dude, <laughs> no, 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 it's dead no. on. <laughs> I'm four. Ooh. I gotta remember to stop at the edge. All right, Joey. Okay. That's you. Stop like, at the edge. Stop sir. at the edge. Once right. it's all the way on, right? Add a yeah, brown. As soon as it crosses the line, you all stop. All right. No worries. I got this. Parker's getting kind of close to the edge, everybody. I am getting a little suspiciously close. He is. But I'm this. going for the. I got oh, this. Oh, you're getting for the, going for that dung ball. Yeah. If what it happens when we touch again? There's a thing, right? No, that was Laura's thing. Oh, that okay. was like a. It was. She had these jaws. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I stopped. I did it correct. Okay. We're touching. Okay, just for the record, oh. Jack Fleming watched the replay and said that the two greens were falling while the push was still legal. There we go. However, I should get one back. I don't think you should because you still broke the rule. You're right. That is a penalty. You're right. House I'll rules. It. I'll take it. It's all right. I'm going to win anyways. Thank how you. Many how many pieces do you have? Look at all these pieces. That's pretty. That's a lot. Thank you that's for looking that good. up. All right, I am. I'm going to go for the roly poly effect here by stacking two browns mm -hmm. in order to add this to my inventory. Okay. You can stack two browns. Mm-hmm. Because he's a dung beetle. Oh. Whoa. What does that do? That's a giant. He's a big piece. It's just a big piece. It's just a big old piece. Mm -hmm. Okay. I I'm I I don't know who's going to win this one. <laughs> this one's I a little. It's a little tight, huh? 
I see. I did the thing that I really wanted to accomplish, which was get the the poo in my <laughs> in my <laughs> present. <laughs> that's a that's a win in itself. Yeah, but for you don't sure. get the two points. No, yeah, yeah. But I would get a poo. Would you get approved? <laughs> I I approve of this. <laughs> All right, I now approve this message. Now I need to. I've got this big brown one too, which mm-hmm. is pretty good. I need to keep. Yeah, that's because you ate taco bueno. Some defense over there. Yeah, I gotta get this big big brown guy. Here we go. Get ready, Joey. I'm not scared. That's a lot of pieces. Oh, look at all these pieces I got. Can I just put? Can I just put multiples there? Oh, sorry. I don't know why I took that. Yeah, I don't know why you did. Well, either. my abilities that allows me to do that. So good luck. Good all right. luck. <coughs> I know you don't need the good luck. You're great at games. Joey's actually really good at games. Mm-hmm. He can play a game, never have heard the rules, and just win. Yeah, we don't understand it's it. It's true. It's not beginner's luck when it's every Look, time. I live my whole life being underestimated and proving <laughs> people wrong. That's like and, literally and my Game thing. Nerds Live is where he comes to set the record straight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh oh. This is go. a bad one. Let's go. That's, that was bad. Uh, I know. I keep taking. I keep it doing too. the thing yeah, too. I just yeah. want to keep it. Uh, Why don't they? Get, they need to. There needs to be a version of Kabuto Sumo where we each get one. Yeah, there should. Yeah. And they have cute little designs. Yeah. Uh, here comes the blue or the brown one here. <laughs> I hear the rules. I just don't process them. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, yeah, I think we'll go here. Oh, that was a kind of a. Dud. It's okay. It's a setup. It's a setup mm, turn. Okay. If I knock over your poo poo piece, do I get it? You guys see no. how this was inspired by the coin pusher games? I see how it was see inspired it? Yeah. by uh, WrestleMania. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, WrestleMania was, mm-hmm. yeah, this is perfect. Whoa. Hey, not this Give one. Give me this. Not this one. Did that no one fall? Is I, that, I, one, I think, yeah, no, one? that's yours too. Yeah, yeah. Give it to me. Yeah. We got Silver Metal Tavern popping in to remind you, don't eat game pieces. Wait, eat this one, I dare you. The poo? Yeah, eat the poo one. If it falls off, I'll maybe test it see for gold. You know, one of that things. No. Get a uh, shot of this. Man, where's a good spot? Because I got to get some. <laughs> <laughs> I think we'll go. Here, baby. Uh, no, we'll go. This is tense, but also nothing's happening. Yeah, I think we'll just go. Two here. points are on the line. I'm about to be a four-point man. I need to get that. Mm. I need to get that off. You got to stop like letting off and then scooting it more. I feel like that momentum changes things. It could. Okay, I'll it's science. Okay, it could be. It's science. All right, here we go. I'm with Cosmic Beat on this one. The Wooden Lazy Susan Arena for the next. Oh yeah, that's gonna be way better. Here we go. You ready for this? Mm-hmm. We do. Oh, that's cool. Right? We do have a Lazy Susan. We could have done. Well, that. it comes with the Sakura Slam. Oh, it does. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's right. So. And it's a square ring too. Which I can't is gonna be wait. Cool. That's true, wrestling. Man, you guys are just. Come on. Doing a We're at a stalemate. Square dance there in the center. This oh, is hard this is because be I'm like, for you. I don't, I try to. So I get the poo-poo if I knock it off. No, Am I on? Don't. I can't tell where, where I'm at. You're good. Keep You're going. Not, keep going. Keep going. Stop. Stop. I can't. Oop. Whoop. A little bit more. You can go a little My bit My finger more. gets stuck to it. There you go. Good. The momentum. I'm telling you, the momentum. You got to do it in one movement. I couldn't see. Go, 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 go. Not good for me because I'm getting my. I like pieces. to get browns every time. You can push the opposite direction. What opposite direction? Yeah, from where your bug <laughs> is going. Hmm? From where your. Hey, bug stop is. giving tips over there. Opposite from where your Excuse bug me? is going. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just confusing him. Like Spencer, this is April insanity, man. There are points on the line. <laughs> I need that. I need that to fall off. What? Like you need the th- the poop? No. How do I get right there? All right, one f- fluid motion. There you go. Very close. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. This is coin pusher trading. Coin push your luck. Yeah, I'm gonna win so many monies on this. Like when I go back to the arcade. It's always one of those where the move you think is going to do lots of damage doesn't do anything. Hmm. What are you going to do? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, 
This game's great. I love it. Where can they get this game? Well, I think you get it rest. Uh, I think you can restock uh, right now. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nerds.me slash. Is Parker, it Kaboom? What are you going to do? Nothing. Then you went far. I you can't see. Uh oh, you what happened? <laughs> <laughs> Dang. I'm getting too close to the edge. I got an idea. I keep helping Joey. He sure does. Thank you. Appreciate How'd you get that big rock? Hmm? Okay, here we go, here we go. How do you get that big piece? Oh, he knocked oh. it off. Oh, oh, Whoa. hold on. If you need, I can I hold it. The it's the turn the table if you need to. There we go, there we go, there we go. You got it? You on? That's good. <coughs> you can rotate it if you need Oh, you can turn it? Yeah. Why didn't you? I didn't know that. I feel like you that might it. vibrate the pieces off. Well, I then whoever f turns it is going to be the one that gets the penalty. Uh-oh. If it falls. I, I don't need good. to turn it. I just use my eyes. <laughs> I just use my ojos. <laughs> uh, I, I got ojos locos over here. <laughs> that sounds like a Taco Bell dish. Like, man, you're not even gonna. Well, yeah, you gotta get that. I gotta get Spencer. something over there. I didn't say anything. <laughs> oh, it's like the money in the bank. That's awesome. What? I'm too close. Suitcase is one of my. Oh. Oh. Rojos. Oh. <laughs> there are so many. See, if I had this Whoa. brown one at that time. Whoa. Yeah, that was great. <laughs> Look at all these pieces I have. How many you got left? I've got three. Oh, goodness. What do you have? I have this like many. Like eight million? I have this many. So many. <laughs> there you go. So many. So many. <laughs> How did this happen? How did the I did, get I, stacked I, on there? Oh, they, they start. start the they, yeah, oh, they start. Okay. They start. Okay, like okay. okay. I can't even hold these in one hand. Well, I got uh -huh. the brown one. Mm -hmm. Wait, do I get it back? I no, knocked it off. Nope. You probably you have, have to, to meet the condition oh, again. Oh, okay. All right, go for it. Oh, let's see. Um, hmm. I got this. Oh, here we go. Oh, y'all are both getting close to the edge. I see. I mean, we were I, touching I, earlier, and now we're I mean, we're I'm distant gonna, relatives now. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna thrive if I uh, hit the edge. I just hope you, you need know. to turn that table around. If you hit the edge, yeah. Oh, do you get a perk if you're on the edge? Mm -hmm. Oh, uh oh, I, I got think it. That's pretty close. I got oh, it. that's part. Oh, if I'm on the edge, or no, if, oh. if I'm on the edge, I gotta turn this a little before I. That almost fell off. Okay, all right. I gotta just push this thing. You know what? I'm gonna go for a for a all out, and I'm gonna just spend both of these for a brown. <gasps> Whoa! Wait. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you might be coming back here. Maybe you uh, know. Maybe, maybe. 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 Don't forget, after this match, we're gonna be doing a giveaway for fifty. What do you have? Just a bunch of greens. Yeah, though no, I got browns. Oh, you got browns? Don't worry about okay. it. Oh, a fifty dollar giveaway. Yeah. Sweet. Hang around for the fifty dollar giveaway. That's you right here. Thank you. Gift card to gamers.com. Oh. 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 Does Where that count? I don't know. I think that counts. Oh, oh does it? I don't when know. Did it fall? <laughs> it fall. It fell. The, when I removed this, it fell. I mean, we can try um, to put it back. Oops. Ah. I think it counts. Okay. okay. Because if the thing wasn't there, it would have fallen, right? Is oh, that, that yeah, that makes sense. This is gonna be scary. Um. Hmm. Going for the big move. Yeah, because I need this. Mm hmm But the question is, where do I push it? Probably here. Probably here. See. Oh, no. Nothing. Oh. Oh, 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 I guess that, that counts. counts. That's the rule we're going with. Before you make this push, should we start the giveaway? We want to wait till after. Y'all want to start the giveaway yeah, start before start. this push or after the push? Go for it, because then that we gives, can people, start it. gives people some time to join. We right. can start it. All right. Okay. All right. So okay. What, what do you guys Has want that been to happening? 
The winner doesn't like So it. what happens is when your mouse touches the edge, it's a Windows uh, thing, so it makes it go away. Yeah. I'm going to start the My giveaway. Bad. What do you guys it's want the, bar stuff. the thing to be? Uh, um, how about... Um, it could be game relevant to this. It could be... How about... How about um, Sumo? Sumo. That's the word. No right. purchase necessary. Don't, don't start yet. Oh, Just okay. Oh. Um, is that it, though? We will do... Mm, I want to make sure that we're going to do this and do that. Okay, yeah, we will do... Uh, exclam Go ahead and say your thing. Uh, no purchase nest. Oh, sorry. No purchase necessary. Only available to U.S. residents. All right. Ding. And Ding. you may begin. All right. Here we go. Exclamation! Exclamation! Sumo. Sumo. Fifty dollars for fifty dollars. For gift fifty card. smackaroos. Fifty buckaroonies. Oh. Whoa. You are at the edge, my friends. I know. So am I. Almost. What if we both fall off at the same when time? When it says touching the board edge, does that mean the like the brown edge on the outside or like the edge edge? Uh, the edge. Okay. I have to go here defensively. Where is? Thanks for pushing me back closer to the middle. That was nice of you. We're like in the same spot. <laughs> I'm closer to the middle as far as I can tell. Look at look at all this. This is mini greens. I know I only have two more. Uh oh. If you can just outlast me, which you will with which that I many. Will. With that many, yeah. Exclamation sumo to enter. There we go. Kabuto sumo. How'd oh. you go sideways? Three, you can, you uh, went this way. Yeah, you can go as long as you, you start that direction, you stay that direction. You can That's do what that? I was asking at the beginning. Yeah. I thought you had to go straight in line with this. That's what I was clarifying at the beginning. Straight. It's like as long as you where you start, you have to go. You can't just curve is what yeah. you can't do. So I could go off of that this edge yes. right here? I could go off the edge of this? You can go as long as you're on there, you can go like this. Yeah. Because if you that's the case, like I've been this. playing wrong the whole time. Well, that's I've, what only, happened. I've only been going that's straight. That's what happened to me last time. Well, straight, just in any direction. In yes. any direction? Yes. Yeah, just straight. Oh. That's what I was saying at the beginning. And you can't tell me that I wasn't telling you the rules. And remember to enter this for a $50 Game Nerds gift card, exclamation sumo. Man, what? I've been playing all wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that. I've, I've just been going lining. That's why I was like, man, there should put be like arrows or something that <laughs> since you have to push it straight, it feels weird. Well. But I see now. Okay, well, that's okay. Game changer? What a wash. <laughs> um... Game changer question mark? <laughs> I don't know. This game seems to be going. Uh, is this your last piece? No, I've got one little fella. Oh, so this could be. Oh, oh whoa, 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 whoa. Wow, it's crazy. Way I have, over the line. I have way, to, dude. Look how over look the how line over you the are. Line that is. You got to put one of those back. No way. That's penalty. Joey didn't put it back. Yeah, he, he did. did. Oh, he did? Put oh. one back. Yeah. Where? At the beginning, remember? Oh, I remember I get to pick? Remember oh. you picked last time? I choose where it goes. Sometimes, and it caught, happened to you, if you push too slow, it gets caught on here. I want it to go here. Way over the line. I think you just helped him out. Oh, he did. Well, I've got two pieces that don't push. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I wonder Oops. if you guys will, will finish. <coughs> this is your last piece? No, I've got one left here. We'll, do, we'll let the giveaway run Oops. here, and then we'll draw a winner when the game is over. Oh, wow. It doesn't do it. There's, not, there's <laughs> no pieces on the board. <laughs> I'm going to brown. Look at those pieces that fell over for me. Ooh, oh, no. Uh -oh. I have too many. I, you know, that's fine. It can be down there. Yeah, this is my last piece. You can do it. Andy Brady's trying the gigs method. Right, you're up. Winning. I had to grab. I had to grab one of my pieces. Oh, <laughs> grab some. It fell. That's a lot oh. of pieces, man. That's this is like this is the most. Is, is this ridiculous. is this a Kabuto? Sumo I didn't know. Record? I didn't know you could go off the side of the thing. Is this a Kabuto Sumo record? Like, look at this chat. 
That's crazy. I can't even hold. There's just too many. That's too many. I can't. People you should probably give at least three of those to Parker. Here you go, Parker. You're going to give me two? <laughs> yeah, here you go. <laughs> You're gonna give me here you go. <laughs> Not. Oh, well. Nope. I didn't know you could play the game that way, everybody. You still hey, it was me hand. last time. I okay? do. I, I don't want to hear any excuses. Oh. Yeah, you did. You oh, you're so close. You is, is, that, is there one over there? Yeah, I got it. But, oh. Woo, I got even more. This is this has to be a record, right? I don't know. Call Guinness right now. Uh, oh, oh look at this. BizPad says, I think in a two-player game, you aren't supposed to have more than six at the end of the turn. Oh. Let's see. Well, you know. Game's a wash. We have to start over. <laughs> <laughs> Let's check that. Let's do double or nothing. If you lose the next game, you have to go down to negative two, and I get six. <laughs> Why are you? Okay. It wasn't on. It wasn't okay, on. Okay, okay. See? Now it is. But this is suspicious. I mean, suspicious? We got signature moves, signature pieces. More like you might, you're about to have to discard all of your uh, coupons. Are you all your coupons. What are you talking about? No. <laughs> Come on. How? I'm right, I'm about to throw the game. Oh, oh, oh. You just touched yours. I'm moving it. I just saw it. You just touched yours. It didn't back on a little bit. No, I didn't. I saw it. Here. I saw him move. There. Is that better <laughs> okay. for you? Yes. Now I now if you win, just know that you got help from me. No, you, I saw well, it. Hey, dude. hey, where's the replay? Hey. I was I'm moving not it. Seeing anything about um, limit at the end of your turn. Oops. I don't want that. Chat thing. saw it move. I'm moving it. <laughs> now that I know I can get point. What are you doing? Pieces this way. Oh, come on. <laughs> Nothing there. All right, go for it. All right, here we go. T -t 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 time to win. <laughs> <laughs> I have to. Uh, I really don't want to throw the game. How would you do that? Because I would accidentally like push myself too much. Oh, I, go. I've got one here piece. We go. Here we go. Just gotta oh, make sure. Oh. <coughs> um. In the replay, the bug was rotated two degrees. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. I lose. Because that well, that was my last piece. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unless well. he accidentally pushes himself off. Well, is that what happens? Is that what the thing oh, is? Oh, is there a turn? You wait till oh. It's your turn. oh, there's a turn. Oh, uh, oh, 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 oh. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, we'll play a double for double or nothing. Here no. we go. Here we go. Oh, Spencer said no. All right. How? <laughs> How? You win by TKO and not full <laughs> knockout. <laughs> Oops. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> How did that even happen? So Parker, you have no more pieces. Huh? You have no more pieces? Yeah, no. I, I, win. I have no pieces. That means I have 4 points. Yep. I don't like this. <laughs> Why? Somebody didn't explain the rules to me. <laughs> I guess I did. I absolutely said the rule. I said um, you can push it in the direction as long as you push it straight. Here, can we get a shot of this? Please don't. Oh. Oh. Make it rain. Those All are right. like pennies. Well, here's the exciting. <laughs> here's exciting news. Um, we have 94. If you're gonna pictures. talk, will you switch to yourself? Yes. Yeah. Um, well, I was gonna talk. We're just to standing you guys. here like. <laughs> Good game. Wait, wait. Good game. Oh, oh, oh. Good game. Oh, wait, hold on. I got to come back. Good game. There you go. Good job. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Team uh, Joey. We have 94 entries in the drawing to win a $50 gift card. Oh, wait. Is this, you didn't get your title belt. Oh, you thank you. Title belt. Uh, a world um, like I'm a world champion. If you want to win a $50 gift card at GameNerds.com, enter exclamation sumo in the chat. Let it run for just two more, two more minutes. How about that? Hey guys, you guys, you have anything to I say? Geek, my champ Geek said, I'm, "I Geek, Geek said, if you're low out of pieces, you can put your chin on the pad and blow as hard as you can to try to push pieces." Really? Is that a thing? Is that a rule? Did you just give <coughs> me a lot, dude? Look at the, look how sabotaged they are. Look am. at the look at the championship. No one tells me the rules. This is a belt. Look. 
And then I'm a champion. Look at this. Oh, on my shoulder. Look at this in case you missed I'll it. I'll put the belt in there. So can oh, if oh, oops. <laughs> is Parker officially out of the running? Is that Wait, uh, possible for Are you mathematically win? eliminated? I don't think so. I think no, you can no, probably no. come back. I can still I can still Let's I can look still, at the let's look at the chart. I can still be second place. I don't know how to do all that, and sorry if I'm oh, too sorry. quiet. I, I can still take second place. I can't take be first because uh, there's only four games. I would if, have to win I, three. If, okay, so I have four points. If I lost all the rest of my games and you won all the rest of them, we would be tied. We'd be tied. Okay. Yeah, for two, two. Okay. Yeah. Hey, Parker, Jack yeah. has a great point. Weren't you watching when they played it in the previous streams? Yeah, but I didn't see any of them. I don't remember any of y'all going like straight off yeah, the side. That was actually I, a thing. I like, thought you had to go straight in like this. That was actually a thing like, that we had to clarify. Like if you wanted it. That's like, why I brought it up at the beginning of the of the game. Which whenever you did, I was like, oh yeah, that's right. You can only push straight. You can't you mm -hmm. can't turn it this way. You have once you hey, go, I you tried, have to go. Bro, you can't say I didn't try. I don't know to tell you. You're not the rules explainer. I'm blaming Spencer on this one. <laughs> this is his game. He didn't tell me the rules. He said, pick a sumo player, mm -hmm. which I did. Step yeah. one, got mm -hmm. the poo-poo guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and come to find out, it was all poo-poo <laughs> to be in, at the end of the day. Maybe you're just poo-poo. Maybe. That's Maybe. two games in a yeah. row, Parker. That's true. Maybe. Maybe April Insanity is mine. Hey, uh, you guys ready to draw a winner? Let's draw a winner. Can we get some hype in the chat? Why are you whispering over there, by the way? Does it sound like I'm whispering? It, it is. is yeah. very quiet. What is this, it's, ASMR? It's because I've got these headphones on. I'm not used to listening. <laughs> we should draw a winner. I want to see hype in the chat. Hyperoni and cheese. Break the Four chat. Four days. Look at that. Only There's 114 people watching, and there's only 103 people in the draw. Do you want to win the giveaway? It doesn't seem like it, Joey. It I doesn't seem so. like it. I want to see hype, and I want to see the entries go to 114. There is 114. I have 114 pieces left. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm being silly. Yeah. Uh, all right. Let's get, some, let's get some hype in the chat. Here we go. Are you all ready? Right, let's do it. Five. Spencer, are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Five. Four. Four. Three. three. Two, two, one. one. Uh, is he ready? There's a, it's Corey. Simply Corey. Congratulations, <laughs> Corey. Just Corey. Congratulations, Just Corey. Corey. You did it. Fifty dollars game nerds gift card. Congratulations, Corey. You could go buy your. You could pre-order uh, Kabuto Sumo Sakura Slam right now. Yeah. Pre-order it. Um, or you could get whatever you want. Message really. marketing. At yes. GameNerds.com. Or winner. At game or winner oh, at yes. GameNerds. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Message winner at GameNerds.com. Winner. Claim your prize. Winner. Let winner. us know Chicken that you dinner. are Corey and tell us what you won. Yeah. yeah congratulations, please. Yes. Corey. Yes. Hey, congratulations. Parker. Yes. Do you want to switch me? Yes. Since you know how to end this thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's, we got to get our group shot at the end. Well, are we ending or are we chatting with the chat? We're gonna, we got just a few. We can say bye. Well, let's say bye. Why don't you talk while you're over there? Yeah. <laughs> Who, me? Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm just I'm going to sit here like this. I'm going to sit here and count my pieces that I had. There's one on the floor. Five, oh, that's because you... Uh, six, seven, oh, 29, 48, 56, 726. I just want to say one thing to everybody. I'm a sore loser. I'm just kidding. No, that was a great game. Um, that was fantastic. So, uh, Kabuto Sumo seems like a really fun... Uh, continuous game. We should keep. We should keep this in the rotation. That's a fun one. Uh, but yeah. So there you go. Oh, some, why did that get messed up? Oh, uh, it's probably there. Yeah. <laughs> all right. That's what happens. That's all awesome. right. This was exciting about round robin tournaments because even though I'm in the lead, even though even though Parker has zero points, he can still play spoiler to somebody that could be creeping up to the win. Not oh, me. Yeah. It's not but down somebody and out. else. See, if I lose yeah. my next one. It's pretty much done deal. Yeah, yeah. No, but you can. But done. even you can still play spoiler yeah. all the way up until your last match. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's why. That's Which why me wild. and Rosa are going up last because she's just going to come through and seal the deal on. She's going to so, yeah, seal just, the deal. Yeah, it's a done deal once Rosa gets uh, in there. I continue to be the stream champion, and I'm living up to my moniker. Hey, thanks, game nerds, for sending us some picks for the next yeah. week soon. Oh, that's I'm excited. Awesome. Um, we are so happy. That you guys joined us today. Yeah, we are. Thank and, you, uh, everybody, for hanging out and watching today. Lots of poutine left that I need to eat because I'm hungry. I want to eat some poutine too. I liked it. Mm. I'm I done eat poutine. I'm done with the poutine. Uh, next week, I don't know. If we've got we've got the continuation of April Insanity. Three but, matches. Uh, three. Three matches. Three matches next mm -hmm. week. You guys have any requests for what else we do next week? I don't know. Anything? Yeah. What would y'all like to see? <laughs> and then we'll uh, sumo. Yeah, we, next week we actually sumo. <laughs> yeah, next week we actually sumo. Actual sumo. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> Joey uh, still wins. <laughs> look at me. But um, we're always look, open look to <laughs> we're always open to requests. Uh, you can send them to marketing at gamenerds.com. Of like, hey, it'd be cool if you guys did this. Or yeah. I really liked it when you did this. You only did it one time. Can we see it again? Uh, Game Nerd says solo games. You know, uh, uh, we do need to do solo games. Mm-hmm. That is a segment that we need Ooh, to do. We haven't uh, done a. I didn't know we sold that in a couple. Of weeks. Yeah, it's been yep. a. Three weeks or something. Look I know that. you got there's one waiting in the wings. There's three more. There's three <laughs> requests for. I didn't know we sold that already. Yeah, that's a popular segment. Mm-hmm. That's hey, a look at fun. that one. Tobacco Man request Parker do some TCG stuff. Oh, does well. that stand for the cool games? <coughs> the cool game stuff? I think so. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's probably right. No, it stands, yeah. it stands for the coolest totally games, cool which is games. also trading card games. Oh. Totally cool games. All right. Well, thanks again, everybody. We will see you guys next week. And I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Yeah. And uh, happy early birthday to Laura, because her birthday will have been passed. Happy early birthday. Happy early birthday. And uh, oh, also a momentous occasion, Parker has officially been with Game Nerds oh, yeah. for a year. That's true. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. So welcome and happy congratulations, Parker, well, thank for you. Uh, being with Game Nerds for a year. Uh, it's been a pleasure. I mean, not that I'm going anywhere. <laughs> it sounded like I'm leaving. It's 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 been a wild ride. I'm here for the next year, so let's see. Hey, how it maybe goes. next year you'll win a game. Oh no, probably not. <laughs> that's <laughs> hurt. That's why I that's why I stay back here, everybody. <laughs> I just don't. I don't, I don't. I don't play these. I don't play kid games like these two guys up here. So. <laughs> I like geeks. Happy last day, Parker. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Yeah, it's been a pleasure. See ya. All right. Yeah, and send us your stuff. Let's see those. Let's get some submissions in. I can't mm-hmm. wait uh, for, for that stuff to start really piling up. Mm. All really. Right. Okay. Bye for me. Bye everybody. Bye. Say bye. bye. Say bye. See you next week. <laughs>